Yo, 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 yo. What's cracking, everybody? Outlaw here, Dads After Dark. Speaking of what's cracking, I'll tell you what's cracking. That's the top of this brute can on this second rodeo I'm enjoying right now. Second rodeo, you got that right. That's Lost 40, buddy, all day, every day. Let me tell you a little bit about that Lost 40. Tell you how you get some. You go by their tap room over there at 501 Bird Street, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72202. Walk in with a growler. Let them fill one up fresh off the taps right there at the bar. Check them out on the inner tubes, www.lost40brewing.com. Give them a call, 501-319-7275, or get on the social media. Track them down on the Instagram. Look them up on the Facebook. Whatever you do, just make sure you tell them Dad's After Dark sent you. Get by there today. Hook yourself up with some Lost 40. Bicycle. Damn, Outlaw. Look at that stash, man. It's on point, buddy. Oh, well, yeah, dude. That beer is super fly, too, son. What man, you been doing? I'm glad you noticed, man. I've been uh, I've been bullied a little bit lately. Been bullied a little bit? You talking about AmericanBeerBully.com? Hell, yes, I am. Man, y'all got to jump over there and check that out. It can make faces for radio look good. I'm going to tell you, man. AmericanBeerBully.com, it's more than just men's care. It is an honest lifestyle, a unique culture, and a bold pack of products. Like, they got Top Dog, Stray Dog. They got... Junkyard Dog. Junkyard Dog. They got the oils, the butters, the soaps, and they even got a line of products just for the ladies. Hell yeah. Y'all stop what you're doing, run over to AmericanBeerBully.com, and place your order now. For a limited time, if you use Dad 15... You will get 15% off of your order. So if I go to the website and I put in the code DAD15, I get 15% off my entire purchase. Exactly, son. Hell yeah. So y'all jump on over there right now. AmericanBeerBully.com. Tell them DAD sent you. Absolutely. Shut your mouth. <laughs> That's your intro. To shut it up. Welcome to Dad's After Dark Radio. After Dark Radio. Uh, you want to do you it? You got it? You do it. Do it. You do it. No. Go for it. Go. No, you no I'm going to sit back. You got it, Rod. Go ahead. Do it. You got to go and... Well, go do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Mikey G and Smoke Tech and uh, the grandfather and nobody else. <laughs> Sound just like you, dude. Dude, you nailed Spot it. On, dude. dude, that was that I'm was. Gonna, just like that, dude, gonna, oh, I still got an egg for you. That was uncanny. Last week we didn't let anybody see the eggy. The eggy. Man, uh, this week. Welcome to Dad's After Dark Radio. Tracy guys. says she's seasoned hears us so far, so that's better than last hey, week. Thanks for thanks you, for hanging with you us. You heard we us were, last week, but you couldn't see us. You know. I see you. <laughs> I did the intro tonight, though. You missed that. Yeah, do, just do, like it. Hey, do it again, Ron. Hey, welcome. Hey, there, we got you to smoke, you smoke tech and uh, your grandpa and, and, <laughs> and Michael G. Mic- your microphone's not on, <laughs> ding dong. Mine is. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, you're muted. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> Guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Mikey G. I got smoke stack, Rodney Lewis. What up, what up? I got the outlaw, Shane Prater. Nobody asked you. And uh, subbing in for Alvy over here. Uh, we have a, is that my shirt? Way. Is he really on his way? Yeah, yours is over here. Is he really on his way? He said he'll be here in like second half of the show. Just oh, tell okay. him no thanks. He's well, about I, to leave shirt. Well, I got to readjust the camera then. So because I told you to nah, we don't care. You know that this dude cannot start the show without touching the cameras that haven't moved since the last week? That he, turned the last week. he turned you off. He turned you off. 
<laughs> He's a jack. Last. Every no, time. No, you I- don't have to change the camera. The, the metal one's got everybody. Just leave it on now. Don't switch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he, he got you. He let it go right when you said the. <laughs> Dude, every time I mess with a camera, every time I mess with a setting, what up, Big oh, Al? Outlaw does not like change. At no, you all. don't have. To, that's my deal. Is no, so he like his money fold. Fool. Coming from somebody <laughs> oh, who has shit. dealt with electronics for a very, very long time, there's no reason to touch any like like these. Thanks for the update, slides right Jennifer. Here, if they stay right here, there really is no adjustment that needs to be made. If unless those cameras, you're real. unless those, if those cameras don't move when we leave here, there's no adjustments that's got to be made. No, unless you're one that, camera's got to be zoomed in. That one's got to be zoomed in every but freaking time. He, like, you should have seen him. He had this one over here. He moved. Uh, it Lisa all the way said, around. "Don't touch nothing. Just leave shit alone. Get off my lawn." They hey, said, "Don't old don't touch the lawn. sweaty things and don't pet." the Should have had thing. his ears waxed because he don't listen worth the shit. Dude, I'm telling you, go. <laughs> I got my bill in for that. Old man outlaw. I'm going on seventh to the same place. Yep. No, the one in uh, oh, shit, somebody's I garage. Now. I gotta go look. I don't remember it's West Little Rock or Bryant. What the hell are you talking Bryant. about? Yeah, it's Bryant. I was uh, huh? What are we talking about? Getting your, your ears, ears clean. You getting your ears clean? Yeah. Like, how do they clean them? I don't know. I'm gonna find out though. Look, he's got it zoomed into himself. I no, I no, got that's it. That's what he said. Well, we're obviously not oh, here. now it's zoomed into us. Yeah, but you got to look up at the camera. <laughs> at least it, um, wave at the camera or something. Yeah, I think I'm going to the one in Bryant because I tried to get the one in West Little Rock, same company, but they've got an office in West Little Rock because it's closer to my office. Yeah. And they were like, "It's going to be the end of a." Uh, oh, dude! It's every time I call, it's at least two weeks. Right, that's what it's been. It's been two weeks, and then I missed my first one. You know, yeah. I, I did it, and then I, I was sitting at work. I was like, "All right, I got to leave at two o'clock." You should, appointments at three o'clock. You should have told him. You should and then been like, no, yeah. I had a timer set on my phone. Do, 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 I didn't and I was hear like, the right, timer. I'm right in the middle of something, so I'm gonna finish this right, and then I'm gonna leave. Next thing I know, I'm jumping up, kicking my desk, saying the f word, and yelling in the middle of the office. And they're like, "What's up?" And I'm like, "Oh well, I missed my appointment." And I was like, trying oh, to be yeah, quiet. No, <laughs> no I was saying. angry, but yeah, I got my paperwork came in the mail yesterday. I got to go, or not yesterday? Oh yeah, Saturday. I've been a customer, so I ain't got to work. I got to yeah. fill everything out. But, yeah, I'm going to go get my ears cleaned. Dude, Rod, you got the frequent flyer miles? Is that what you Dude, I'm telling you right now, it's it's great. I mean, they go – depending on how they <laughs> – like this last time I went, by the time I got there, it kind of cleared itself up. If I go when it's, like, real bad, man, they'll go in there. It like They got the suction thing in there. Everything. I bet that's gross. Just like, just like with your teeth. You know when the, mm-hmm. they're sucking all the water out? Yep. Do they have that similar thing? But dude, this time she she just cleaned it. Oh, it's it's like you ever had that itch real deep in your ear? Oh yeah, dude. It? I didn't I didn't got a blister on this ear over here. I oh, think yeah. I got a hair growing. Quit in. messing with them. Yeah, just leave it alone. Because if you're going win Thursday, no, the seventh. The seventh. Okay, so next uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, Wednesday or Thursday of yeah, a couple weeks out. But dude, I'm telling you, it's it's great. Life changing. I do it once a year. Not why, I why, want why, why once a year? That's the only time I need to. I don't do it. I don't do it just because. I do it when I need to. Well, you know, uh, and it usually happens once a year, and it's around this time every year. Ugh. Well, I didn't need to get my uh, nose hairs removed, Ugh. but uh, Outlaw was all about yeah. me doing that. I, I didn't do that. that. It worked good. I had nothing. to Oh, do it was with your that. damn fault. No, I'll replay the the freaking video for you. Brandon goes, "Hey, you think he would want to get his." Nose wax, like, yeah, he and I was like, I don't know, he might. And then Michael was like, I don't know, I'll do it. I'm doing, I'm down. Does it hurt? And I said my exact words. I didn't say it did, but my words were, "Have you ever pulled a nose out of your hair?" And he was like, "Oh yeah, I was pulled like, a pulled a nose out of your hair, hair out of your nose." Well, I was wondering where this was going. I thought yeah. there was a kick. That was there, an accident. He was really messed up. Okay, got it. But yeah, so next thing you know, Brandon then went over to the wax box and came back with these two mat and I'm like, holy shit. Outlaw's they look like hater for, for that. They look like little black ice cream cones that he well, stuck up my damn nose. Said that. What I said? guess for making him do that, but you no, didn't make him do it. That's right, Mary. So, He's an asshole. So Brandon brought it up. What he should have done is when he was going to stick it in his nose, he should have slipped and put it right there. Dude, that would have hurt so bad. So that's why he, 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 <laughs> he put a little thing right over here and he caught one little hair right here with that thing and yanked that out too. It did not feel good <laughs> at all. That no, thing dude. sucked. It was epic. But so Brandon was like, hey, you want to do this? And Michael was like, I don't know. Maybe was it hurt? And Brandon was like, yeah. And I was like, have you ever pulled a hair out of your nose? And he was like, yeah, it hurts like hell. And I was like, well, there you go. 
And then he was like, screw it, I'll do it. I was like, wait a minute, let me go live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold tight. I'm all, dude, I'm all for doing stuff for content. Yeah, I but mean, can you breathe better now? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't breathe. I'm fat anyway. So. Look, I will tell so. you this. Right now, like I, I posted a link the other day. Who's got the hairiest legs, by the way? Just go <laughs> at least like one time. In the world? No, if, like y'all. Go I one time. Stop what you're doing. Because I'm about to ruin Get it. online. Make an appointment. Go down to Smalls. Um, what up, Jameson? Barbershop and Shave, shave Salon. Shave parlor, sorry. That's right, Brandon. If you're watching, what's the uh, website? It's uh, there's not a website. You got to go on Facebook. Facebook. Um, oh, okay. And you can email them, but there's a. Uh, I thought there, there was a website to book an online appointment. You go, it's one of the guys worked there named Kenny. Ow, oh, shit. I don't Kenny, remember. Kenny, ow, oh, shit. There's only two guys in there. It's Brandon. I can't remember the other guy's name. He used to live out here. He grew up out here. Super nice Lived guy. Lived over on Singley I, Road for a little while. You know, we made a post about this. I suck at names, dude. Like you yeah, can tell no, me your name yeah. five times. I don't have a clue. But no, they, dude. The the shop itself is freaking oh it was great badass dude like I I went to the very back of the shop and it did look cool as hell and the video games I had in there and I stood there for probably thirty minutes looking at what I thought was everything and then I moved to the middle of the shop and then I go to the front of the shop and then I go to the back again and I see ten more things that I didn't see the first thirty minutes I was standing there it looks like a good fit for Brandon oh, oh it's dude. awesome it's perfect and for the guys out is there it who doing do- good business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's for, busy. for the guys out there who don't know where it's at, it's next door to the French Quarter. So uh, now everybody has a point. Of, now everybody has a point See, of reference. Where you just screwed up is now any ladies that are listening are not going to let their men go. Well, I said it's like five blocks away from the French Quarter. You shouldn't even mention that. She what, says they yes or can. French Quarter. I'm on a diet and I'm going to the diet shop that's right next to the donut place. There you go. <laughs> I mean, nobody. They don't know what the French Quarter is. They do now. It's not like the Peppermint Hippo. Um, but it's yeah, y'all go check out Smalls like and Hot Springs. <laughs> the shop's amazing. The the man, like he did, he 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 straight razored, lined me up, and then he took a a hot towel and put it on my face. I seen one on Glover's head. Yeah, yeah. He had, it, was, <laughs> it was an improvement. He, he did a hot towel, and then he came back, and he trimmed up some more, and he lined it up, and he put some aftershave on, and then uh, he did a cold towel. And, like, I, I left there feeling good. I felt refreshed. So, nice nice haircut. Like I say, trimmed a stash. He cut half the stash off, and that was... It was dead, though. It was. It wasn't. It just didn't look good. It was all everywhere, and I just told him, I said, I don't care. Let's trim it up. Let's make it look right, and... Maybe it'll grow back out. So, maybe. Yep. Yeah. If well, not, Mary. Mary said, "See again." I said this. She post didn't say before. you look handsome. No, she said I look good. She said you look acceptable. Mary has told me three times in our seventeen years that I look good. One was when we got married, and the other two times is after Brandon got done cutting my hair. Well, and all three times she didn't have her glasses on either. So. No, dude, she's got damn surgery, bro. She don't need glasses. Uh-huh. She's it was, got. It was a joke. She's got a hundred hundred vision. It's a joke. Saying she you can have hundred hundred vision, that'd be crazy, dude. I got a thousand thousand. What does that give you the, a headache? The best twenty twenty, yeah, twenty twenty. I'm sitting here. I definitely don't have that, but trying to go watch us, and for some reason, I'm stuck on this plastic oh, renew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blind the uh, the audience for a second. But look at this, dude. Like he, he shaved you down, dude. Look he? at the head, dude. He took a straight razor to Put the, the head. hat back on. I know it's gonna blind everybody. Dude, I'd but rather did, look at... Did your wife tell you you looked handsome? Uh, nope. She, no, she didn't. That's My it. wife doesn't ever tell me I look handsome. Really? Yeah. Where's the sex? Angela? Hold on, here we go. <laughs> Angela, why do you not tell Glover he looks handsome? That's true. Well, she, I mean, she was raised not to lie, I guess. <laughs> is she, is she uh, working? <laughs> no, she's... Uh, she should be. Jacob had a pitching lesson. After that BS. Then Ben's got a music lesson. Jacob's got drum lesson, and then they both have band practice at 8 o'clock. So it's a busy night for both of them. But, yeah, look how shiny the dome is. Dude, he uh, trimmed up around the eyebrows. He got the beard a little bit right I asked her right there. Maybe she'll talk back to Mary, the men should trust. The women should trust their men. But How's, I, how's, the, how's the beard look, right? I am banned. Oh, good. I am banned from all gentlemen's club. Because they were talking about making it rain. I tried to make it hell. I knocked like three people out yeah, with they, quarters. They'll run you out of there. Yeah. Oh, I'm man. not allowed. For sure. For sure. I don't, for sure. I don't honestly like oh, this hell. is no joke. My wife will will vouch for me on this. I hey, don't, don't like don't boobs. Give to, no, I love boobies. <laughs> <laughs> she knows that. Um I was telling her that a little bit ago. But um <laughs> Hey, just in case she's wondering, I like boobies. Hey, oh, you're on the way home. All right, I love boobies. But 
I uh, she said not banned by me. Um, I don't, I don't care to go to them. Like, and I she'll mean, tell you this. One, you're saying all of them, right? Well, you know, my wife's kind of got a little infatuation right now. She kind of wants to go to one. I'm like, all I right, mean, let's go. I'll go with my wife. Yeah, let's right? go. I don't care just to go. Like, I have no desire to go throw money at naked women. Like she, I, she says, she don't care where you go. She trusts you. She uh, said, she she says, she she says, says, the way you look, I know, yeah. I'm not worried. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> but nobody it, wants you. But it's ass. just there's somebody out there for everybody. I had a friend of mine that was getting married several years back, and he was like, "All I want to do is go to the Topless Bar. All I want." So that was the bachelor party. We're going to the Topless Bar, and you can ask my wife. About 20 minutes in, I'm texting her, going, "Hey, y'all about done yet?" She's like, "Well, I said, get the hell out of here." Like. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I don't want to be here. It's not. I mean, I I've been a few times. But Mary said, it's "Let's not, go." Uh, all right, let's all go. right fine. It's not anything. All right, show's over, guys. Adult <laughs> date night, and us and the wives. There ain't, there ain't oh, no. I guarantee you, mine there, won't go. There ain't no way Amber's going. Dude. I guarantee you, she that would go. surprise the hell out of me if Amber wanted to. She go. would not go. I guarantee you. All right, I well, that, that ain't happening. You can go with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that'll be fine. Oh yeah, I, I definitely she'll, think she'll just wait in the parking lot for us. Yeah, I definitely think Amber would be fine dropping you off. Yeah, yeah. they'd be trying to hire her. Yeah, here, here, here's some wines. I went to, the, I went to the to the machine for you. But here's yeah. the deal: like, I don't you up some change. I don't want to go to one and see the people at Walmart naked. Because that seems like the kind of people we would get around here. Well, that's that's the that's the same group of people we did at the midget wrestling. Wasn't I told it? Mary that's what I was about to say. So we're at the the midget wrestling, and I feel very comfortable saying that word now. At first, I was oh. like, "It's small people or George." Oh, yeah, right? No, they say, "Oh no, oh, yeah, they, 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 they were in there like go midget, kick his ass." No, and the, I was the, like, the the main guy the was announcer. Mid- no, the one guy was midget king. Midget king, yeah, that was his name. So that was it. You know, I feel and he comfortable. Was awesome, by the way. But I text Mary. She's like, "Y'all having fun?" And I said. I said, here's how I can explain this. I said, imagine being at Walmart, people watching, and all the funny people that you see there, they were all at the midget wrestling. I said, I finally feel normal for once. Dude, I mean, we looked we looked out of place. I'm not even lying to you, man. We looked very, very normal. I and think it was there weird. might have been four to eight people in there that was just like us. Everybody else was Midgets? backwoods. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like this one old guy, um, we can go to Vegas. I bet they have high dollar, high dollar clubs. Club. I bet yeah. they do. We ain't got high dollar money though. I thought Mary I was about says, to say Mary, that, Mary, that ain't the BYOB one's Mary, like around here. Yeah, I was gonna say French Quarter's BYOB. Mary uh, all of them around here. You don't want to go to the one in Vegas. You you've done said you don't like fancy establishments. No, she'll go. She's just trying to get to go to Vegas. She don't care I about mean, anything. Screw it, let's go to I mean, Vegas. That's, that's a smart move. All right, there it goes. They're planning a trip to the gentlemen's club for the ladies. In Vegas. Yeah. We're going, by the way. Don't. Yeah. All so, of us. So we're not going Peppermint. I'll Hipper. go to Vegas. No doubt. Yep. What, what about the wife? Is she going to go? She'll go to Vegas. She won't go into the establishment, I'm sure. I mean, okay. just boobies. Oh, yeah. I mean, shit. I heart boobies. All right. How'd it go, well, Shane? This is I love boobies. Is that what you told your wife? Oh, I just... I always tell her that. I don't know why I keep spinning that fucking... I know. I was Sorry, doing it earlier. I, I had to move it. Uh, I got no you. Right. I got, I got Thanks, you right. buddy. All right, so family, <laughs> that, right family vacation. <laughs> We're going to have to get rid of the kids for that weekend. Yeah, we can hire a babysitter. No, dude. dude. dude a weekend to you Vegas? Can, yeah, you can We're going to need more than a weekend. I told, you can go to any corner on Vegas and pay somebody to come watch the kids. Look, so I told Mary this. When That's we went not to what Vegas, they're there for. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, hey, babe, let's hire. Because, you know, Vegas, is there's prostitutes everywhere, right? And I was like, hey, let's. Get a prostitute and take them back to the room. She was like, "No, we got Chase." I was like, "Fine, we'll hire two. <laughs> Somebody's gonna watch, watch him." Chase. One to- <laughs> oh, here we go. That was not like that. Was not a real. This is not a real thought. statement. This a is joke. only a joke. It please was only not, uh, for radio content. Us to Facebook, one hundred percent a joke. So it was just a funny joke. But anyway, so football squares. Oh yeah, we got about forty of those things left. We do. We need to get off of them. They're weighing us down. Right. I now. mean, you could. There is a better chance. Of winning one hundred and twenty five dollars, y'all take your football. Then buying friends. a damn scratch off down there at the Circle K. Yeah, how many people stop and buy those? I know I stop and buy those. I ain't bought one in a while. Literally though, you can spend ten dollars and have a chance to win a hundred and twenty five dollars in one quarter. You can win alone. more, dude. We've had multiple people win multiple quarters. Dude, you could spend ten bucks and literally have a shot at five hundred dollars. We need you to go faster now because they moved the game up. 
It was three o'clock start. Now it's noon. Well, here's the but deal. They're going to televise it. If right? yeah, it's noon because they're trying to beat the heat. If uh, we decide to do the game, y'all are going to have to do it. Oh well, I'll be because uh, I'm going to be in Houston. I'll be in Texas. Okay, well I guess I'll be at home watching it on the I'll, couch. I'll be driving home from. You'll be in. Oh, that's right. We're going to see the same game. Well, not the same game. Saturday's a football game. Are y'all leaving Saturday? We're we got a Sunday game. Yeah, we're leaving Saturday morning. I don't know if you speak English or not, but that's not what I asked. <laughs> no, we're leaving Saturday morning. Yes, we're and, leaving Saturday morning. Yeah, and we got a Sunday game. But we're stopping in Y'all Arlington because we're going to the Rangers, Rangers yep. game first. That's what Mary said. Yeah, I mean, it's cheap as it is. I was like, shit, we might as well hit both of them going down there right past it. Well, hell, Angela's working. I'm, hell, I may come over here and broadcast the game on my damn self. No, you do, can do it. it. Nobody will be here. I got to watch it somewhere. It's either watch it at the house or watch it here. Who wants to? Who wants me to broadcast the game and do live commentary? I'll do it. Well, it'd be weird without Shane going. Run the fucking ball! Yeah, we'd yeah, Shirley, won't. you did. You did your part. Thank you. Yeah, Shirley, thank you very much. And everybody else that has purchased, um, thank you very much. And if you, you don't have to purchase, purchase. <laughs> Sorry, that was you don't have to purchase. You got to purchase. You ain't purchase it, but you can't watch it. No, well, I'm and, just and what and what we're raising money for this time is, is ourselves. Is <laughs> ourselves, but this no. is going literally to you see this old pink hat that we got here. I'm not going to turn it around because it's got the old logo. We have no hats. We have no hats. Uh, no hats. For we you. are planning to do a run of new hats. We're going to do uh, three different options. I think is the plan. This money that we're bringing in from this fundraiser is not going for us to go party. It's to us to buy some new merchandise so that you guys have available options if you're interested <laughs> in in, in, the, in this merchandise. Right. So well, that's that's what it's there for. We need some merch. Uh, there, we haven't oh done hats God, in a long this. time. Yeah, we haven't done hats in and, and I've had expensive. I've had several people request the same pink hat, so Lisa, I, I'd say we definitely do a run of the pink ones. Lisa said she about swung on some down there in Vegas. Yeah. Oh snap! You know we went. But we went during COVID, so everything was just opening back up. Or it was, was yeah. There, like honestly, people had I don't told think you us could get it in Vegas. I mean, well, shit, well at one point, though, that, out there. at one point they had the entire city <laughs> shut down, and they were slowly opening things back up. Y'all went right when they were starting to open things up, and some things were open, and some things were not. Well, the what strippers up, were not open. Um, what up, brother? The the people said it was shares with Muhammad. When we shares get down with your there, friends. Oh. People get down there, they're going to be handing you business cards with their pictures on it. And, you know, be careful, don't let the kids see it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, cool. Dude, we didn't get one business card, dude. That's bullshit. 100%. Well, the people when were not looking the, for them, the, you don't get them. That's the BS. people were not out on the street like they normally are. Well, see, I was not. You can go out there at 3 o'clock in the morning, dude. There's so many people out on the street. It's, it's insane. It wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy it. You didn't I enjoy mean, the whole trip? I didn't just, enjoy being in Vegas. It really wasn't nothing enjoyable. I mean, it big. The, the big deal is it's a gambling city. It is. If you don't gamble, and I'm not I don't gamble. I, I mean, I will go throw twenty, forty, fifty bucks in a slot machine. I, I put my goal was to put five dollars in a slot machine in as many different casinos as I could. I could do. I put it in seventeen drinks. Seventeen different casinos. I put five dollars in a slot machine. You can do it right when you get off the plane in the damn airport. Oh yeah, right? you can gamble in the airport. Yeah, yeah they've got slots in the uh, in the airport. Yeah, nothing was open. That's what Mary says. Yeah, Bubba, we thought about getting some beanies. Um, so. we, but you know, we actually got thought the, about that a few times. We they've have. got that new sphere thing that's there too. That's a big sphere. It's a sphere, but it's a big attraction I now. Just didn't I got a buddy that lives out there. He's a he's actually a, a Los Angeles or Las Vegas police officer. Okay, well, and they got but, the, uh, they've got the Raiders there in town now. They've got their uh, their their hockey team has done really really the Golden Knights. Dude, the Golden That's, Knights have been in the finals I mean, we were like the last talking two sports, years. and then you blew it. With Dude, the we were we were going in the big Ferris wheel thing that's over there, and we had stopped. By the way, if you think you're going to walk two blocks of that building right over you see, you're it's wrong. Oh, dude, it's like an oasis, man, because it it's, it's, insane, it's, but, it's three times as far away as you think So it I is. stopped at this little corner store. I got me a 12-pack or something of some adult <laughs> beverage, and I was like, all right, I'm going to keep it in the bag. In, in the container, all the above, and hopefully they don't take it from me, right? No. They made me take all of the alcohol out of the freaking factory box that it was in and put the alcohol in a bag and throw the box away, and then I could take it. And I was like, I truly don't understand. Well, they don't want people starting fires up there. Yeah. And I said, you're letting me keep the plastic bag. Yeah, you're talking about the big, uh, the big Ferris wheel that has the, the like you're inside of a big. Like, yeah, hamster, it was ignorant. like you're in a hamster ball essentially. Your wife wants to go to the Raiders game. 
Chase said what happened. Oh yeah, she there's Allison, whatever her last name is. She's a big TikTok TikTok. Oh yeah, she's married to she's married to an NFL player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all she cares about, dude. She's my wife. Actually, really likes the show on Netflix, Quarterback, (laughs) because it shows the wives of Kirk Cousins. Tim said the they should be like a a, a, uh, utility marker's wives and do a show like that. Tim, that's a great idea. Tim said that the Golden Knights are as dirty as the strippers. (laughs) Nice. Get her doing I don't know. I, they have bigger sticks, could too. could care less about their hockey team? Who gives a rat's ass? Tim, Tim's a hockey dude. Well, they're, they're well hockey sorry, Tim. That sucks. Their hockey team's <laughs> been on fire lately, man. And, the uh, you know, the uh, the athletics are moving to Vegas next season as well. They're building them a brand-new stadium. I mean, there's athletics everywhere. Yeah, there's <laughs> an athletic guy over, on, over in I mean, East Tampa. So Vegas has got a professional hockey team, professional football team, and next I think the se- season after next they're going to have a how professional. Does Chase well, they know, have the Raiders. How does Chase yeah. know so about what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, number one, and how does he hear what the hell we're saying? Because it's on the car phone right now. What's it called? Not the car phone. Car phone? Car, car phone. phone. It's not, that's like speaker. 1986. It's on the car phone. Hey, car hey, let me call you back on my car phone. You do, do, do. That shit was well, loud. You, you, you got to pull the bag out from the uh, from underneath the seat. I've heard if you like a couple things like NASCAR. I, I don't really get into it. I can watch it. Hockey, same way. Uh, but they say if you go to the show, go oh, to hockey. them. Oh, yeah. Hockey's go a good different. show. Like, yeah, there's a, there's a couple. But can you sports sit and watch it on TV? Like you're going to no. sit down, you're going to watch no. that shit on. Well, that's it's like baseball. I like I can watch a baseball game on TV, but it's so much better live than it is on television. Yeah, hockey yeah. is the same way, man. I've been to a couple of professional hockey matches. And, I watched the River Blades. Oh yeah, same. <laughs> oh yeah, but hockey is so much more fun online. By the way, if you ever get a chance, Olympic hop- hockey is so much better than professional hockey. They actually take the fights out of it, but it's better. Oh, see, it's, it's not better. That's, that's bullshit. Yeah. I the only watch hockey part. to see someone get their ass kicked. <laughs> I mean, that's like watching I agree, wrestling. agree, 100%. That's like watching wrestling and expecting them not to kick each other in the face. How about the – that's like the post we posted. We posted you got a post? bunch. The, yeah, we got a bunch of – The post wrestler, posted? A bunch of wrestlers, the only uh, sport where people – guys in underwear are fighting for a belt. Nice. <laughs> hey, what up, Michaela? <laughs> what up? What it do? Yeah, that's yeah, insane. but I don't know, man. Maybe I'd get into it more if I did that. They say the same thing about NASCAR. So. Yeah, NASCAR is one of those. Have you ever been to a professional NASCAR race? No, no. I've been to I've been one. I've thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. That's you know, close about the same thing. You can go now for free. Yeah, you're right. I mean, <laughs> shit, you ain't there. gonna stay long. <laughs> Send you packing. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't know, man. We- we go. We go see some baseball this weekend, though. There you go. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Mom and law was like. We're getting all, we're all getting Yankee shirts. I said, no, no, we ain't. No, we're not. She's like, we're going to see a Yankees game. I said, you're, you're going to see it. a Yankees game. We're going to go watch a baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember who the Rangers are playing. Uh, maybe Toronto or. I don't know. They're Yankees. playing the Blue Jays, man. That's going to be a pretty good <laughs> I game. I don't think it's the Blue Jays. We got no. hella seats, dude. We're sitting. I don't know. Where the hell, field. I couldn't tell you where we're sitting. We're sitting a few rows off of the field at left field foul pole, pretty much. But on the third base, I side. honestly, I don't know where we're. Watch, I gotta, I gotta ask. I don't know where we're sitting. Yeah, Mary got a. Mary said she's gonna wear a Cardinal shirt. They're um, not playing the Cardinals. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Chase has a shirt that's split in half. <laughs> half of it's Yankees, half of it's Houston. Oh, uh-huh, that's cool. And just did that to appease Grandma. And uh, I'm probably gonna wear a dad shirt. Nice. So well, we've kind of adopted. I mean, like we we we, we like the Cardinals. Jacob's were big until he likes the Cardinals. He likes, but since uh, since Yachty retired last year, he's we've really gotten into it this year. He really likes the Braves. So I'm glad we got to go to a Braves game while we were there in Atlanta. Well, this was a good this was a good baseball weekend. We went to me and Mike took the kids, and we went to Hot Springs. It was Hot Springs baseball weekend. Um, they you had, know they had games over at the at the Majestic at the, Park. Yeah. 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 So you had Raleigh Fingers was there, uh, Wade Boggs was there. They had Butterfingers too. Um, they had, uh, oh goodness, I just went blank. Wade Uh-oh. Boggs, Raleigh Fingers, <laughs> Steve Carlton, Steve Carlton. That's how and you. Steve Carlton was. I mean, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but he was not a great interview. No, he was. He was not really. Nice, but, but Wade Boggs. Wade man. Boggs, man, Woo. he got in the middle of his speech and started crying. It was, it was, it was, it and it was he started the tearing up came whenever he talked about how he, whenever they came to him and said, "Hey, you're now part of a forty man roster." Yep, 
there was two parts he got really choked up. The first part was when he was talking to uh, talking about his, his the first dad. part was the, about the roster, and the second part was about his dad getting to enjoy the '93 World Series with him. Yeah, that's cool, dude. He was in the dugout. They poured champagne on his dad's head, and dude, like he was. He boo-hooing. started boohooing, but what's up, Ray? Oh, Minnesota Twins is who they're playing, okay, nice. uh, and they're they're number one in the AL Central. <coughs> How is Minnesota Twins in the AL Central? I don't know. The damn Mariners are freaking on fire right now. But anyway, so we went down to Hot Springs. Um, they each each one of the ball Goose Gossage that was the other one. Oh yeah, Goose. Each, each one of the ball players did a speech, a little you know about an hour speech. Uh, about yeah, about forty five minutes. We got some autograph pictures of them. If you got to the front of the line pretty quick, um, Chase was able to get in line and get autograph from Wade Boggs. Um, I got to talk to Wade Boggs just a few minutes prior to, um, and then. I got disappointed because I wanted to see Raleigh Fingers. That was the only reason why I wanted to go up there for myself. And we got there a little late because, you know, we got our haircuts and whatnot. Um, even, even though Shane thought his appointment was at 9 o'clock that morning, it was actually at 10. Yeah, it was at 10. We got so he showed up at 9. Early. He was but, like, hey, well, that's what's not the point. He said, you have um, to wait an hour. Here's we, a uh, we go up there. We hang again. out. I watch, we watched this. It was a card show. Uh, there was a uh, the little, pretty cool, though. little was, spinny thing, right? This guy, one of the uh, one of the vendors pri- there, prize wheel. had one of those prize wheels, and it was ten dollars a spin. I was like, you know what? I threw forty bucks at it. Chase won a Deadgum autograph Rocket Ishmael jersey. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> he won a jersey, dude. This guy. I, gave I, us I told some, him, I was like, dude, you're not a Cowboys fan. You should give that to Rodney. You know, you know what he said? Well, F Rodney. Rodney. Yeah, well, that's what I'd have said if you had said give it to Shane. Hey, we have a guest. We got to start talking right now. <laughs> That's right. Rodney's shirt, or, but we had to put it in your place there. It was it was hold, holding substitute. Um, but anyway, so Wade Boggs got the autograph. Um, that happened. Chase won the Rocket Ishmael jersey. Um, yeah, Alvy, you'll be happy to hear that. My son won an autographed uh, Rocket Ishmael right jersey. Did he really? Yes. Did he For ten, hey, what size I, I put ten dollars on a prize wheel. Actually, I put forty dollars. It was ten dollars a spin. On the third spin, he won an autographed jersey, and it was the Rocket Ismail jersey. Yeah, so yeah. he got that jersey. But then, did he really? You're fat. Wade Boggs came out and talked. Blah blah blah. Uh, we we did that. We bought cards. We looked at this. We looked at that. And then um, we got done. We went down the street to a place called the Copper Penny. We had. A meal. We hung out, and then we headed back to the truck. And I noticed Wade Boggs was standing on the sidewalk with a bourbon in his hand. And I was well, like, "Like for real?" You yeah. Got- I was like, "There's oh, yeah. freaking Wade Boggs standing there." And I was like, "Okay, there's Steve Carlton." And what then I was like, it? and I just stopped in my tracks, and they're all standing there, and they're like, "What are you doing?" And Chase's like, "Let's go over." And I was like, "Nope, I'm looking for, I'm looking for Raleigh Fingers right now. I don't see Raleigh." And then, sure enough, from behind the little pillar that was right there was Raleigh Fingers, and I. Whoa. Casually, I wanted to run, you know, but I didn't want to freak nobody out. But you're a celebrity, right? I guess. Well, so, like, like you should have been able to pull that off. Y'all should have been the same VIP club. I like to see you run. I casually <laughs> walked across the street. I get over there and I hold my phone up, and I was like, "Mr. Fingers." It sounded really weird when I said that. By yeah, the way. It, it, it sounds probably. just as weird now. And he looked at me, and I held my phone up. I said, "Is there any way I could take a picture with you?" And he was like, "Come on." So me and Chase go up there, and as soon as I got up there to him, I reached out and shook his hand, and he goes, nice stash, brother. And I was like, yes, sir. Did you get that recorded? No. But I got a picture with him, and then he was like, is that your boy? And I said, yeah, this is my son, Chase. And he was like, he said, Chase, would you like a picture too? And Chase got a picture with him. old ass is. So uh, (laughs) that was was a, a starstruck moment for me because... Raleigh Fingers' mustache is the baseball. What King Griffey Jr.'s hat backwards is the baseball. It's an iconic. Raleigh Fingers is the mustache. Kind of like what his baseball. is to the show, backwards hat. He is. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, see. Yeah. Well, congratulations, man. You know, because people don't get opportunities like that. No, it was uh, badass, dude. Uh, every day. Yeah, I know, that, I know that, that's that important. Cool. I know it that's important badass. to you. So got Especially weights. if he recognized your mustache. Yeah. That's even. That's and what I, I said, dude if, dude, if you could have got that. I told him. I said he should have signed the mustache. I said the crazy wow. part is I just cut half of it off like an hour or two prior to being there because I went and got it. Oh, trimmed you did up get it trimmed. Yeah. I cut half of it off. Yeah, it looks way better. Um, it looks way better. It, it looked like next year. Hair. Next year they're going to have uh, Ozzy Smith. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. No, 
You're full of shit, dude. <laughs> You're so full of shit. I'm going to stand in line right It'll now. Be, I think it's been like the same three or four people it every is. year for it the was, last. Yeah, except for COVID. Nobody else is I'm come. telling you right now, you think I'm bullshitting? If Griffey goes there, I will sleep in a freaking tent out on the goddamn sidewalk and yep. wait. And they'll haul your ass. We'll come bail you out of jail because they'll be so like, that's, that's that's okay. Okay. We, know, we know lots of bail bonds. Chase so Bond. We're good. We're good. Um, Th- there's this company up there out of Hot Springs that they took this King Griffey Jr. branded <laughs> baseball glove. Brand- Brandon's on there. He says must be about the nose wax. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Um, and they made a wallet out of it. So it's got King Griffey Jr.'s autograph, which is embedded into the leather. Okay. And then on the other side, it's like the serial number and the model of the glove. But <sighs> it's it's one of those flat wallets. So did you get one? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's in the house. Like- Costing, costing ninety five dollars. If he'll pay forty dollars for a cap, he got, surely he would pay sixty or seventy dollars. Sixty for, for a wallet that he's never going to carry. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. And it's going to go in there with the card. It's going to go has. with my Griffey collection. Yeah, that's true. For sure. It's a. Uh, I have to. That's awesome. You'll yeah, have to come cool. over and geek out on my uh, Griffey collection one day. That dude don't give a shit. How many of those Gr- Star Wars? How many of the Griffey cards did you buy that I laid out for you? I'm afraid Every Thomas. Thomas Nike. Did you really? <laughs> Jordan. Every Jordan, yeah. single Griffey Nothing card Nike. we found, unless I knew for a fact I had it, yeah. we bought. You go up there and dicker with them? Dude, I need I to go through mine and, and bring... I, I don't know how many I got. I probably got 10, 12, maybe more. Cards? Griffey no, cards. Griffey cards. Oh. Bring them to me. I'll take them. Yeah, I need to bring them and see if you got... If yeah. you don't have them, yeah. we'll we'll look take, take need, them. I'll swap you any Bo no, Jackson you got. I, I went over to that fifty it, it, Bo Jackson cards. And I'm Frank Thomas. Look, maybe we need to have a three way maybe we need to have a three way uh whoa, like, uh, like what you whoa. say, three way card hey, swap. You just got here, but that's cool. We'll go <laughs> three way, dude, if you I, want to. I, I'm out. I'm out. Michael's <laughs> jelly. Look, you got your nose waxed. <laughs> what up, Lisa? <laughs> All right, fine. I'm in for the I'm in for the three way. No No, that guy real though, I got a bunch of Bo cards because that was my dude back then. So we were we're all looking through cards, and Michael's and I and I I'm Chase, we're all just putting all the Griffey stuff that we find. In yeah, the there was stack. a bunch of them, dude. And I was like, all right, I've got this one. I've got this one. I put it back. I put it back. There was a stack of Griffey cards about this tall that I know for a fact I didn't have. The value of stickers that the guy had on there. So it'd be like a $60 card. He had it for like 20 bucks. Oh, awesome. So okay. he had good deals on it. So I added them up. Because some of those guys are swindlers, man. They'll try to get over on you. Absolutely. And I went over there, and I'd already had it in my head. It was $172 worth of baseball cards per the stickers. We get over there, and he's like, doo, 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 doo. and he was like, man, I got $172 worth of value. I'll still give you 50 bucks. And he looked at me. I said, they're only worth what somebody's going to pay for them. Yep. Boom. And he was like, 70 I said, okay. There you go. And you would have yep. went 100 wouldn't you? Nope. Wouldn't have yep. went 100 What was your limit? Seventy five. Seventy five. Okay. Yep. Like seventy five. So you got them for seventy. Yep. Seventy bucks and freaking. Probably, one I of them, don't have any that you. One of them was a have. metal tin. Yeah. Um, the size of baseball cards. It has baseball cards inside of it, but I have no idea what's in there because I refused to open it. Is it sealed? Yes. Oh damn. Size <laughs> but the, the tin itself is a King Griffey Junior tin. I mean, is it like fake plastic, or is it something we can re shrink wrap? Uh, possibly, <laughs> but I, I don't. Want yeah, to. I mean, y'all get what? If it's just right. shrink wrap, no big deal. You but if it's if, if it's it. factory sealed by so, MLB, you wouldn't want to. Right. There's another uh, a series of cards. What was it called? Seventy nine or seven ninety? What was that one that Jacob got? Oh, the prospect card. Pro- no, the thick one. Oh, I don't know. The cartoonish. It was like yeah, no, it was it like was, it was, it was Project like, Seventy or yeah, was, Seventy Nine. They're not making them no more. No, they're all like art. They're artwork cards. And Chase won a Babe uh, Ruth version. They're freaking cool, dude. Nice. Yeah. Jacob got a, a Tatis one, and he got a Mike Trout one that he really liked. And yep. I told Jacob, I was like, dude, these we were digging through a I crap go ton look at of something. them. Hold on. We were digging through a crap ton of cards, and I was like, dude, just find players you have seen live or that you like. I was like, because we don't know what the actual value is. Yeah, no. Really, and, and so we got a, he got like a Will Blackman. Card value is really, really tough. I know. Well, he got him a Will oh, Blackman no, no. one from uh, the Rockies because we went and saw the Rockies yeah, play. Yeah. And Will Blackman hit three he got three hits in that game. I was like, let's get. And then we were collecting Razorbacks. Like, I was going through there, and I got a, you know, I got a Cliff Lee. I got a Ben Attendee. I got oh, a yeah. Dallas yeah, yeah. Keuchel. Any, any cool. ones that we could find. I was like, man, any former Arkansas players. That, that's a good one. Well, that's the thing about collecting what baseball cards. What the hell like, is it, going on over here? It's really perceived value, but it oh. depends on how you oh, shit. collect. So if you yeah. collect, like, I, I like Frank Thomas, so it doesn't really oh, matter to me Frank. whether the card's worth 10 cents well, or 200 well, bucks. Exactly. You know, back in the day, my dude was Ricky Henderson. Love Ricky Henderson. Yes. I got some sweet-ass Ricky Henderson cards. But, I, dude, I guarantee you, without a doubt, I bet I got every bit of 50 
Bo Jackson cards. Do you? I saw like, several. I didn't know you. Not, I didn't know you did. I didn't know you did Bo Jackson. I, shit, I, but I found me, a bunch, like, dude. dude. I would. I'd have brought them when I was growing up. I had the Bo nose posters. Oh on yeah, the God dang wall. So that was your. That you was your, that was your dude. dude. That was my dude. It was. See, Dan, 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 Dan Marino had was one. Frank yeah, Thomas. I, Boom. I love Ricky Anderson right. and Dan Marino. Dan Marino was my guy. Are we really talking about Dan Marino in the same category as I'm just Bo Jackson? I mean, he is the best quarterback to never win Super Bowl. To oh, never 100%. win, yeah. I mean, he won a bunch. Him, him and Tony. <laughs> it's just not a Super Bowl. Tony Romo, I give that to you. Yeah, statistically, one of the best quarterbacks ever. I would think of one of the best quarterbacks I would of all hands time. Down dude. Say that Marino's. Better than Tony Speaking Romo. Speaking of the best quarterbacks yeah, I mean, of all time, Jerry got him a new quarterback this weekend. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's do the stats <laughs> on this shit right here. Anytime Trey, he says we're going to stick with somebody, you know he's looking. For, that's <laughs> say, send me your application. Jerry so did you Jones see traded the damn a fourth, fourth round pick for, for Trey Lance. For another, he was a number three overall pick. Number three overall no, pick. But not, not, I po- look, not Popo. I'm not Popo. I'm the no-po. No-po. Yeah. I just, Lisa but said cool shirt. The... Yeah. The deal with him is, so I seen the, there was a stat, like, so Geno Smith uh-huh. plays for Seattle now. Yes. Starting quarterback for that. He had more pass attempts last year yep. than he has had since a junior in high, or college or high school. Yep. He played one full year in, in, at North Dakota State in college, played one game during the COVID season, didn't play the next year, got drafted, Played a handful of snaps his he rookie season. He got drafted season, number three. Number three. After they traded three picks to yeah, move up. Yeah, so look which at my, this. Which my Dolphins, by the way, turned into Bradley Chubb, turned into Jalen Waddell, turned into um, uh, Ty- a hell Ty- Ty- Tyree Kill. They, they used all three picks to get those three players. Well, everybody's like, oh, well, yeah, they got this guy. I'm like, Lisa said, where's this the eggs at? Nobody. We brought one. Here's one right here. Have y'all been watching them do that on TikTok? Hey. Yeah, we owe it for. Owe it to. Okay, why the hell are you looking at me? Because no, we, just... we got the... No, that that's passed. No, oh, no. Ooh. It's a rain check. Because it was raining. It was a rain check. We were all good last week. It, it, was, it was raining where Lisa was, and she was the one asking. She was in the middle of a hurricane last By week. By the way, did you know you broke the show last week? What did you go over to I broke try, to find, the show. try to find a card? I, 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 show. I noticed that. I, if I, we froze up, you weren't here. I've got a blue I, I, I told Bubba to say something to you guys. I told him, like, the whole show I falls apart. When, in there. Yeah. So I got a, I got a, uh, I say, it's a, one cool thing that I guess I got it, and I think I still got it, is my uncle at the time, and uh, he brought me back one of the smaller books with the entire team of that year on there. So it's got Ryan Sandberg and stuff like that. Well, but, dude, it's like, it was it was cool. Just, I want to go get that. That dude, that dude was on SNL, wasn't he? The, Lisa, yeah. it's funnier with the little kids. I Sorry. Okay, I'm going to go grab Andy this Sandberg. binder that this guy gave us. One of the prizes Chase won was a box of own, an an unopened box of cords. Which he didn't have. And then he was like, oh, crap. Him, him and his son were tandem on the, the booth. And his son had sold Gave the last away. box. <laughs> oh. So the box, free box of cards was still on the prize wheel. So this dude walks over to me with a binder about this thick full of baseball cards, and he just holds it out, and he said, will you take this in place of that box? It's, it's a t- and I didn't hesitate. I immediately yes, said sir. yes. Yes, Which I think was the value of, like, what, 40 bucks, I think is what they valued. No, the, a box of cards, the boxes that he were given uh-huh. away were either 89 or or $125 box of cards. Was it, was it one of those roll games? How did you win? No, it prize was a prize. No, okay. yeah. no, not Rogaine. That's what he. No, Rogaine. No, that's what Shane. No, he needs on the back of his hair. Or your head whatever. Off, I'll be. <laughs> hey, dude, have you seen? Look, look how shiny I am, dude. Oh yeah, he's shiny. He Put got, on your he sunglasses. Got a he got a sun is back. He got a straight wow. razor. That was all Brandon, man, with a straight razor. Wow. He went after it, dude. He trimmed. He got the eyebrows and in between. He even got them around the ears, like the little loose hairs. Got all up in my nose. Dang. Oh, loose you got hairs. your nose? Oh, oh you didn't see the video? Dang. No, I haven't. Oh, they did a. They did the wax, like the sticks. Oh, really? And let them set, and then yank them. Out. How long did they let it set? I uh, like a minute. It wasn't very okay. Long. Okay, because the longer they let it set, the the, the more the the worse more it feels. More set in, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The worse it, it feels. wasn't bad, dude. I didn't cry at all. That was fun. He looked like he wanted to. Shut up. He looked like shut up. I think there was a tear. Uh, hey, Tim Ager said, "Damn the glare." The glare. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, right. Watch it's out a, now. It's a shiny put the, dome, man. You got to put the you filter. Wear your sunglasses at night. So uh, uh, I did something for uh, you guys, like 
Uh, y'all know how y'all have y'all's link tree, right? Yes, sir. We have, a, got, we have a link tree? Y- you do. Link tree backslash dads after dark. Thank welcome. you. Uh, welcome dads, welcome yeah, to the show, dads are here, Yeah. Uh, so I have my own website. And part of that is I dedicated a page that's like link tree. It's called The Hub. So alwaysmakegoodchoices.com backslash The Hub. And as part of that, let me show you what I did. You, uh, actually, I'm back. I'm not in Sheridan right now. What you, you done do? Uh, yeah, he's he's not sure now. I mean, hell, he's here. With so I'm going to show y'all what happens if you go to alwaysmakegoodchoices.com dot com backslash the hub. What up, Brian? All right, pull. we're all waiting. Like we're yeah, in suspense like, yeah, right now. I, I'm talking. I thought he well, already had it. Like uh, like pulled up. Like hey, well, this I, one I thought you guys this is where you're supposed to say filibuster up. right here, Alvy. You're supposed to say, hey, somebody like a blockbuster. Yeah, blockbuster. Somebody right blockbuster for us. Yeah, that's what you should. Okay, have. so if y'all actually go. To my version of Link tw- Tree, always make good choices. dot com backslash the hub. Oh, good. Outlaws what the hell do you do? Right, finish what you said, Alvy. Okay, so I did two things. One, we scroll on down here. What is it? Uh, I, it's my version of Link Tree on our page. On my he page, put our Link Tree on his. So page. you got it uh, is Link one, Tree though, right? Yes, my person. Your Link Tree. Yeah. No, uh, on my page, it's always make good choices. dot com backslash hub the hub. The hub. Oh, it's the different. Hub. Okay. It's on my page. Okay. That way, I, that way, I can do anything, and I don't have to pay. That's what I was trying to get yeah, you no, to do. Yeah, no, is free. But, but anyway, hey, right, I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. I'm not with you. We not only did I put okay. y'all as partner, I got oh, y'all. We're partner. I got y'all labeled here, so I'm going to need some copy uh, for this. Dad's after dark, where they can either go to your link tree or click the picture to go straight to y'all's Facebook page. Well, I'll be done. I, oh. you, I can get you the link to our link tree. I got that, bud. Did you miss that part? So, so what did you ask for? You just it said you, actually said you needed what now? No, no, no. Some copy that describes what y'all do a little bit more. Because oh, yeah. this is what I got so far. It says you can catch Alvy almost almost every Monday night at seven p.m. doing his intern duties on the Dad's After Dark show. You can watch him live. I need to fix that on Facebook and Instagram. Can which should be YouTube. So can't even hold it all. Click the photo to check out their Facebook page or go to uh, the link tree for all things Dad After Dark. And I put y'all's link tree. Uh, down at the bottom, there. dude. That's I'm pretty have, awesome, man. I'm going to smack you on the butt when we get done. Man, I'm going to say go. good so, game first. So, so I, I got you on two sections, and I actually got a picture. Dude, uh, why am I not in that picture? You are, I'm just Mikey G. There's more than just one card in each slot. Some of them, yeah. yes. They're geeked out on. Uh, there's like five or six. In all that right, slot. so I've got you zoomed in right now. Oh, so well, well, it's all the same card. Show mm-hmm. everybody what you got. I hadn't, I hadn't even looked through this yet. I no, just kind of, I just kind of browsed through it a little bit. All right, so. Chase spun the wheel and he won a free box of cards. This uh, is no, what no, he won. This is, the guy was like, "Hey, that's I, what I figured. This he, is what they gave cool. you." He yes. said, "He said, hey, I don't have. There's a, probably a box, but I have this binder, three hundred cards in there." And he, More thought, than, and he told him, "He's like, look, wow. he said most of these are not great cards, but they're cards." He said, "I don't know what's in there. I don't know what's not in there." Will you take this? And Shane was like, hell I yeah. I didn't even hesitate. Does I he have like, multiple cards in each sleeve? Some of them are du- some duplicates. Of them, yeah, it's got the wow. duplicates in there. But there's uh, uh, I haven't I haven't taken the time to really go okay. through this and look at there's it. But, like, here's there. some. Uh, well, I definitely see some uh, upper deck in there. Upper so deck here's or? some. Uh, it, it, and for reference, it was $10 for one spin. So, in theory, if there are. Ten dollars worth of cards in there. He's made his money. Back. You're good. You know, see, we used to have to do it. We used to do a dice rolling game. I don't know what uh, is. We'd have like five dice, and depending on what you, number you rolled, is the prize that you 85. would actually get. So there's some eighty five, eighty five tops in here. That's good. There's That's some eighty nine tops. There's yeah, eighty five. That dude looks like from eighty five. Oh, I like the stash. That stash. Um, like <laughs> no, we know where yeah, my mustaches are coming t- back t- from. Bring it to work tomorrow. I will bring it to work. Man, you're not going to get any work uh, done tomorrow. You don't have to work. Look at there. Oh, uh, oh, Dennis Eckersley. Oh, yeah, dude, that's but good. Outlaw's going to be geeking out now. Yeah. So, uh, uh, There's uh, that, but so here is he's the... Okay. Uh, Go flip Here's our this. I got a photo of that happening. So there's my Wade Boggs autograph. We got a fi- that photo is, of Chase getting that one autograph. That is freaking awesome. Um, I used to have that scorecard. Was it 89 score? Yeah. I bet you. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Here's okay. the Project 70 uh, Fernando Tatis. That's a fifty dollar card. Well, you, you know it's good when they put it in the thick cases. Yeah, yes, well, yeah, it's yeah. a Jacob, thick card. Jacob got one like that too, but it's it's like oh my a, it's like gosh, a, that card's like this yeah. thicker yeah. than a quarter. Look at here, here's the wallet. Okay, 
Yeah. Look, there's there's Ricky Henderson. Yep, I know there in. There's, that's where he. That's the base winning slide. I think there's Ricky Henderson that, and Jose Canseco. That together. is cool. Nice. I like I like that right there. So this card was in there, he and then that card it. that's in there was in there. He said you can have it. It's fine. Um, stack of Griffey cards. Here's that. Here's that ten. There's another Ricky Henderson that I was talking about. Oh yeah, we can totally open that up and reseal it. Yeah, that's not the factory seal. There's Mark no McGuire. No, it's got a factory seal on it. And then don't 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 don't. don't, don't, don't. It, oh, I'm saying it's not factory. No, look, look around the it. There's a band around it. He said. That. I don't want you to accuse me of it. Yeah, you look no, at that. There's a band all the way around it. See, you're a band. You would have to slide that out possibly. Let me look at it. I'm saying I think it's just a. A regular shrink wrap because the MLB would have had us their stamp on the back of them. Right, there's, another. There's old Mark McGuire playing for the Athletics. Yep, there's another project. Back when he was about half the size. This is the Babe Ruth Project Seventy cord. Yep, that's a cool one. Oh, that. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, that was before that, he that, That's cool. Yeah. So there's uh, no more of those. That won't be made anymore. So. Yeah, those Project Seventy cards. Those are cool. Jacob got that, a couple of that. That is cool. He got a. I wish Dude I was, has this his this laid out in team. Order. Some of it's in teams. Yeah, I've noticed that. I like how thick those cards are. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. There's that's like on the right on the project board thickness right there. Yep. But yeah, there's some. Uh, it hurts my heart to say it. What? What? I'm sorry. Prayers up. What is? She, what did we miss? Jeannie, you're on hospice. No. What? What? Where did you see that at? Well, I read Lisa's comment, and then I went back up. It was reply to Jeannie. Lisa, did y'all let Outlaw know I'm under hospice now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang, Jeannie. What the frick, dude? Yeah, we we didn't know that, but prayers. Yeah, I'm for you. Y'all said prayer for Uh, Jeannie for a while. Yeah, y'all send them up right now. I almost wish I hadn't seen that. Now I don't want to talk about nothing. What's up, Britton? Hmm. But dude, that's that's, dude, a, that's, a that's always thing. tough when they drop comments like that. Yeah, I mean, here, uh, he, because you know you're, you're human. Even though we're on a show that's mainly supposed to be comedy, silly, yeah. right? Uh, I mean, it's uh, so, it'll floor you. So here's an idea. Let's pause for thirty seconds, and everybody can, if you're a praying person, say a quick prayer while she's here. Say a prayer for her. Give her some strength. Give her your thoughts. Um, thirty seconds. Go. Has that been 30 seconds? Well, I guess yeah. so. You just talked. You were about to? <laughs> 30 he seconds. wanted to bait you to. 30 seconds is a, yeah, lot, I, is, is a lot longer than what you think. It, it's a lot of dead uh, air time. It is a very long time. Um, well, you should tell your wife that. <laughs> she already knows, bro. <laughs> Why do you always got to make sexual stuff about my wife? <laughs> well, he has something. Look at, those are some badass cards right there. Dude. Look at that. That's kind of raised. That is pretty sweet. By the way, I guess your wife and my wife are now engaged. I guess that's a thing now. Yeah, I'm going to win that bitch back. <laughs> Maybe. I'm trying to see. It's, if she was the one that proposed. Yeah, she talks about that because she sees that on TikTok all the time. And apparently every concert, everywhere that that song's played like that. Um, You're not going to be able to get that back in there. Nope. I've ruined it. You might as well open it. Now. Might as well just rip it. Oh yeah, it tore on the side. Alvy, it's it, kind of like uh, it, will, it, will, it, it, it was worth like nine hundred dollars. So this yeah, is worth nineteen ninety seven. Donner's Virginia, preferred. I bet you won't ball that up, Glover. Um, search yeah. for precious metals. Collect all twenty five. Now, Jenny, like you're very welcome. Um, truly hope that some comfort and some relief comes your way. There ain't a goddamn card in here. It's just a ten. <laughs> Oh, You're paying for the ten. God, How much did you pay for? There's the supposed ten? to be cards in here. How much did you pay for the ten? There was supposed to be something in there. Yeah, let me help. Let's you. see. Here, put those in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, there ain't supposed to be cards in there. That's a ten. That's where you put your bubble gum in. There's supposed to be cards in here. Hey, hey Roger, let's say that. There's supposed to be cards in there. I want to say it. It's, it's a cool 10, though. I'm madder than a midget. Collect all <laughs> 25 tens. 
That's all it says. Hey, there's 25 of them? There's Five trading to. cards per 10. Thank you. <laughs> there's no cards in there, Albie. <laughs> there was nothing in it. Yeah, now I it, need to find out where the hell it came from because I'm going to call the guy and just let him know. Five trading cards per 10. Not anymore. I'm going to let him know that I bought this Thinking it because it was sealed. And it and said there five was, There was no cards inside of here. And it says five cards on this per 10. Dang. You got ripped off. Oh, I'm mad at a midget. Barbie right. How much you pay for that? But, well. Next time, always remember this. If it's factory sealed, it will either have a seal from uh, with the Major League Baseball logo factory. on it, uh, and they're usually holograms. Well, I'm going to haul a sh- freaking gram. Anyway, so cool it's still a, It's still a cool tin. It is. Still yeah, a cool it'd, it'd be really cooler if it had cards. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to rub this in, aren't you, Smokestack? Why not? <laughs> like, my, Man, you should, hey, look, you should, filter. You should just throw that tin away. It's, it's worth nothing now. My butt hurts a little bit. Does it really? Fred hey, how disappointed on you f- are you for real? I'm, I'm on a scale of one to ten. Yeah, that, fifteen. That's pretty bad. No shit. I'm a little pissed off. Honestly. Well, I mean, it it, it was I, supposed I to have some that. Griffey card. Did you ask him if it had cards in it, or did you no, just? I shouldn't have to. It showed. I mean, it was factory, or it was sealed in the, its original packaging that didn't look like I, it had been tampered. I with. personally don't think that was the original. Was of course, original I used pack. to. I used to deal in baseball cards, though, but it so. was in there, and it says five cards per ten. Now, why would I rip that off of there to look to see if there was any cards in there? Zero. It's you well, know what well, it you is. Wouldn't. You you would add. I'll trust it's you. Kind of like a. I'm going on a goddamn scavenger hunt tomorrow, and I'll find out. You which, should remember which one you got it from. Oh, I know exactly where they were at. I'll call the convention center and find out who rented that spot and go from there. Oh, like Lisa. Wow. Lisa said we got video of you opening it. There's clearly nothing in there, so yeah. you've got video. <clears throat> hey, oh. there's old John Smoltz. Oh, Smoltz. That's a good one right there, boy. Ooh. Let's go. Boy, been a long time. If since you give me that ten, I put five of them in there, and you won't know. Jamie, face. you're crazy. Pink is definitely my color. Tom Glavin. Actually, in fact, anytime you wear the hat, people try to order pink hats. I'm telling you, dude. Every time I wear this hat, people are like, "Man, I need one of those pink good, hats." I need one of those pink hats. Fire. By the way, if you oh. want us to order some pink hats, we have football squares for sale on our Facebook page. We've got about forty of them left. They're ten dollars a square. There's a, a Deion chance. Sanders one in here. Well, this was the this Anyways, was the time of You can spend ten dollars like with a chance to, to win. And this Look, John Smoltz. I'm John Smoltz. Y'all, y'all, yeah, back, on y'all, right y'all back on y'all. Y'all back on y'all's football squares. We are. We're on the Great football Olsen. squares. What? No, Glo- I'm glavin again. You, you know you I'm control the. I'm trying to sell football hey, squares. You know you can, oh, hey, you control the volume. You know that, right? No, I control the volume now. Oh, oh, wrong I just pissed, it's, so I can't get in this pissing contest. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's funny when we're trying to tell a story. I'm sitting here trying to talk about football squares and sell some of those and because I had somebody who was interested and blah, blah, blah. What the hell would I do? Go well, to our page. Them. What are you waiting on? There's another Dion. I hate them. Dion Sanders. I want a divorce. You put me in an awkward spot because I feel obligated if you're talking to respond to you. But, you know, I want to say Neon, Dion, and like. You know, you want to look through those cars. Don't I you? do want to look through it's the cars. Drive, it's driving, driving you a little crazy. It's uh, I, I would That's like. That's why to, I took it and like, ah, well, I'm just gonna go through it while he's talking. It, it, it's okay. But hold but up, hold up that binder. Now he's so worked up about the right. Hold the, hold, the, hold up that binder. His perceived getting so ripped off. You, dude, I'm looking at it. It's it's about. It's Ken big. Griffey. That's the senior. That's senior right there, boy. Oh, senior, dude. I, I didn't know he them. played for the Braves. The okay. Braves. The Braves there were solid again. back in the day. They're senior again. Dude, it would be epic if there's an 89 upper deck in there. Oh, that'd be cool. That's yeah. the most sought after King Griffey Jr. card. I used to have. Why would anybody want hey, to George Brett? Hey, do you, have that, do you have that 89 That's upper Dale deck? Murphy. I do. Okay, good. I, take, I might have that one. Yep. I've got it sealed pretty tight. I uh, want to send it off to get graded because I really. I've got one, but mine's, mine's, good. Mine is mine's probably creased. in one of those binders because yep. when I was trading baseball cards, it wasn't yep. the one that was worth. I don't get why anybody would want King Griffey Jr. cards. Dude. He had like the ugliest swing of all time. Shit. <laughs> You're just. <laughs> he's, he's picking. Look, we could go right past this uh, Milwaukee Brewers whole thing here. Wow. <laughs> wow. I think you're picking He's a already on the, like, on my, the horn uh, with the people. Uh, Michael Glover. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Mikey G. You're like. You're poking the bear right now. I know. I fully expect <laughs> with Kendrick Giffey Jr.'s baseball bat. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. He, there's Greg Sheffield. Oh Sheffield, that's his rookie card. There you go. Tops rookie. So apparently, in these '89 or '90 Donruss, there is a ton of error cards. Yeah. And do you know 
how many boxes of 90 Donruss that I left out of Russell's store with? A ton. What, you know how many 89 uh, Bowman that I had? Like thousands of packs uh, that on, I basically gave the, away. Yeah, He's on the damn... They screwed me on one. Wait, so people collect baseball cards? Look at this, cards? dude. Oh, Rolly Fingers. Uh, they do, but they... Yeah. Yeah. Look at that sash. Dude, that is a cool Rolly sash. Fingers, there you bro. go. Doesn't that make up for it? Dude, if you would have had it, you could have got that one freaking Well, I had signed. one in my pocket. But he didn't have a pen. He, he went had up a to pen. Rolly Fingers and didn't have a pen. I had a camera. That's all I needed. How do you not have a pen? I wasn't expecting to see anybody. Did you always take a pen when there's... Well, I usually have a Sharpie in my pocket, so I sign autographs all the time. Right. <laughs> Ozzy... <laughs> Are y'all sitting up at uh, when y'all go out to dinner? Is people coming up asking for Outlaw's oh, autograph? Yeah, all, the all the time, dude. All the damn time. I, I signed this one guy's balls once. Um, it was soccer balls. Uh, uh, he was okay. at the ball. Uh, whatever. Yeah. That's like, uh, There's another Ozzy. Okay, 20 bucks is not 20 bucks. Another Ozzy. Good gosh. Whoop, they whoop, loaded whoop. down the Ozzy. I mean, I got my money right there. Pagnosic. Oh yeah, you easily got What your up, money Darren? Money. How are you? Again, Pitch Carpenter. Like ten bucks. That was ten bucks. For the ten? For no, for the for the no, book. The, for the, the whole ten, thing. he still got screwed on. He, for ten bucks, you well, got the whole box. How much did you pay for the ten? Or was that part of your deal? That. Wait, what? What? I, the hell I don't know, on? but the whole place could hear what you were saying. Wait, wait. I think everybody can still hear. It, hey, so Mikey G, you're watching over. the show. It's like, hey, it's about damn time I tuned in. Yeah, he should have. We pay him to tune in. Uh, Tom, excuse me. Him. Where's my check? WTF. I didn't know his pan to tune in. the same as he does. Oh, okay. There's That's a perfect. 90 Aussie. That's an old school one right there. I have, no, I, I have a bunch of cards. Darren says he has a bunch of cards. I believe D Hop would have a bunch of cards. D Hop, he probably got a bunch of little baseball hey, or basketball. basketball. D Hop probably just Dude. tuned in. D Hop, this whole binder Another right awesome. here worth the cards. Oh, Coleman, there's a cost nice him, little cardinal section going on. Cost here. him ten dollars. Yeah, your wife's gonna take over this one. Ten dollars. That's pretty cool. I, the binder was well worth the take. Oh, yeah, yeah, and there's uh, there's nine spots in each page. It looks like they got them front and back. So that's oh, at there's least some that are stacked together. <laughs> so that's at least eighteen cards are they, per are page. They, are they multiples of the same one? There well, is. If, some, they're, yeah. if they're stacked together, they're that's the same card. But they're correct because you would put them in there and like if you want to come up and with well, McGee get a card, we'd pull it out for like, you right instead here, look of at that. having like, to go through them like comic books. I got you. That's crazy. That Eric Young, Dude. Fred McGriff. I think Fred McGriff has been in on every page because yeah. he played for every team. Every Wasn't team. he? Isn't that the bear that tells you to that prevent Sammy? forest fires? Oh, yeah, Sammy Sosa. Nope. That's uh, that's, that's, Sm- that's, that's Smokey awesome. the bear. I thought that was Fred McGriff. Oh, September. No, you are talking about McGruff the crime dog? McGruff the crime dog. <laughs> McGruff the crime dog. <laughs> that's, what, that's totally what I thought. I'm it was a nine eleven. I was like, is that who you were talking about? Thank you for saving me. Yeah, December eleventh. I'm like, I appreciate, the, I appreciate the save. Yeah, Fred McGruff the yeah, crime that was dog. The first game back. Alvy Taylor, I'm happy the, for the money the you got. And he stuck Dude, it in the I got a Sammy what? Sosa card where his first game back from 9-11. You know I hate that they got caught. That was September 18th, 20, <laughs> yeah. 2020. I don't hate that they did it. I, I hate that they got caught and a big like, deal was made out of it. Yeah, whatever. Because they had always used performance. Oh, you're talking oh. about the bonus money, Shirley. Oh, I, fully, like, I fully believe that home run chase was all set up by Major League Baseball yep, right itself. There. When because baseball returned to it, it was it, it was such a down That's slope amazing. of attendance and ratings oh, yeah. that that home run derby Shot pushed every, pushed everything up. But we was chasing those ball games. We was going to we seeing oh, yeah. who, who was going to yeah, stay I, ahead. They were, they were breaking in live on. to the they were breaking into live television <laughs> during the during the chase. When baseball returned to Cincinnati on September 18th, the Reds dedicated a moment of silence to those that had lost their life in the terrorist attacks. God Bless America was played during the seventh inning stretch and passionate fans waved American flags. When they sang God Bless America there was a big, big emotion right there, said the Cubs' Sammy Sosa pointing to his heart. D-Hop will be there. What up, Jennifer? That is cool. That is pretty damn sweet. I got you. I got you now, Shirley. Yeah. but She's saying uh, she's happy. Uh, my first performance bonus I made a little over 1600 bucks. Dude, that is freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah. we ain't even at 200 Sammy yeah. Sosa. Good to, can you not let this side of the table have a good moment? I'm telling you no. I mean, He can't celebrate why anything. Is it, why is it us versus them? He understand. let y'all have a good uh, moment. Uh, uh, what the hell are you talking about? I said about? congratulations first. Did you? But he said like I, under I your breath? I thought about it. <laughs> I'm just responding to comments. He's just jealous. That's all it is. I'm not jealous. 
I have. I don't have a jealous bone in my body. Oh yeah. Is there crickets is it, over is there? It, is it out of your body now? Hit that. Hit that laughing emoji at this point. Oh. What's up, Jennifer? Oh, there. Hey, speaking of Jennifer, has anybody decided to uh, tell people about the little fundraiser that she put together? I don't know. That you, you could be doing that right now instead of talking about I mean, Fred you McGriff the crime. You mean the one? Smokey McGriff. No, Smokey McGriff. Smokey the bear. Is there Ron Sandberg in there? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> It's Smokey the Bear and Fred McGriff the Crime Dog. McGruff. Sure. That's like what, rough. That was a couple. McGruff. Fred McGruff the Crime Dog. <laughs> yes, he finally, he, he finally... Oh, you got an empty page, I thought. Hey, look. Mm-hmm. One of them's a bear. Uh-huh. He wears a hat. Five the five other ones. one's a dog that Fred, wears a trench coat. Fred McGriff. McGruff, like That's gruff. gruff. <laughs> Fred McGriff the, the Crime Dog. JJ's Creations. Dennis? Show no. Did you say JJ's? Oh, JJ's creation. So they're the, they're the people who made these great always make dad decisions uh, shirts. Oh, Jack, yeah. Almost. <coughs> Found one page that's only got three cards on it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now he's really going to be pissed. There's oh, no, no cards dude, in the tin. Did he get his money's worth there? This no, is he a didn't. Win. There's another one. Diamondback and Rockies, September. Oh, there's JJ's creations right there. That's what up, JJ? Ass. What up, JJ? JJ. Hey, See, I'm the only one wearing my shirt. I wore mine last oh, week. Randy Johnson. RJ. He I, mean, I, I, wasn't Bird Killer. I wasn't here, but I had my shirt on last week. Now, actually, I think I had my no, dad's after one, dark shirt did, on. The, the week before you had this one on. Yeah. Last week, what was I doing on Monday? I think, think I did have my dad's you shirt on. You were at Sheridan. Oh, Sheridan, was it open uh, house? Sherry Day. Oh, you uh, were like a basketball thing or whatever. Oh, the pep rally. The pep yeah, rally. That was yeah, it. yeah, the pep rally. I did have my uh, dad's after dark shutter. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, I, we scored on some baseball cards, man. Yeah, awesome. I didn't take over the bag here. And the coolest the thing about there. the baseball cards, man, is he took Chase, I took Jacob, and they're getting into the habit of it now too. They're uh, they really enjoyed sitting there sifting through all the cards and the memorabilia and they they had a blast, dude. Well, you was, know, was, there's fun. strawberry. We have our big Comic Con coming up in a few weeks. I'm super excited about that. Which one? The one on Little Rock. Oh yeah, with uh, the Shat's going to be there. Yes, 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 yes. The yes. who? The Shat. shat. Like I poop myself? No, oh. like Priceline. <laughs> you got to relate to him. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Priceline guy. What, sound like Dude, a I'm, shat? Damn it, I shat myself. I'm in well, the he fit. also I, says McDuff, or what do you, what do you McGruff, call it? Fred McGriff. McGriff. <laughs> the crime dog. No, uh, like, <laughs> in Shatner, like, I always watched uh, Star Trek growing up, and I've seen him in several other things, but I've gotten into Boston Legal. I never watched it when it was on the air, but I've been binge watching it now. I'm in the fifth It's good, season. isn't it? It's so good. Dude. The Shat is amazing. So he's, he's actually he's uh, a good actor. Actually. He's great. I think that we were watching an episode of that, and I don't remember if it was Shat or the other guy that's part of that duo. Yeah, him. Uh, um, but the other guy, it was the other guy. The other guy goes into the bathroom, and it was like right before, right after a court hearing or something. And one of the other people come in and was like, "Hey, just want to let you know that." You know, that was a good deal or blah, blah, blah. And he reached out to shake his hand after he just got done uh-huh. peeing. Shatting. And the guy looked at him. And he was like, ah, I don't know. And he was like, I'll have you know that I have an extremely clean penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Like, I'm shaking your hand. I was like, that was epic. That was a good yeah, show. I, what is the guy's name that plays Alan, man? So, but he's awesome. I wash my hands before I pee. JJ's got creation. a bunch of expos. Hey, hey, JJ's creation says if you need to always make dad decision shirts, let JJ's creations know she's placing a bulk order on Saturday. Proceeds goes to Dad After Dark and Just Alvy News. That's it right Come there. On, Come on, now. it's Get on uh, it. it's a good fundraiser. I hope we sell more than ten shirts. If Pick not, we, we're, we can keep them on both we're pages. Gonna, we're gonna get a bubble gum. Pack a bubble gum. Pack a bubble gum. We can, get a, right. we, we can buy a baseball team like with nothing gum. in it. I like gum. <laughs> You're such an ass. There's no Griffey in there, huh? <laughs> Junior, anyway. It's a good thing he's only half paying uh, he's attention. Not, he's not paying attention, but I'm going to hang out by you, Alex. Yeah. I don't guess <laughs> you I'm going to go through Seattle. I'm out of already? hitting range over here. <laughs> he's, dude, he's got his knife up. Wow. No, he does not. I do no, not. Not. I do, oh, I'm he, trying to cut some cake. Where's uh, the cake? He has, that, to, he's, he has that marker he didn't have when he met. <laughs> Oh, I'm Willie over, McGee. You want, you want, you he's been on about every one of them. Oh, no. No, sir. You can run the control deck tonight. How quickly I, you... I don't feel safe. Hey, we here. should be able to go live on TikTok now. I think my band is over. 
Yeah, you got, I got banned. banned last week. I had my wrestling mask on and was sitting here. It was threatening. I was just no, what? I was just talking loud. I was like, "Let me tell you something. These dudes don't know." I mean, I wouldn't even. I was just like, "We're talking right now," but I was talking in a wrestling voice, and I got freaking shut down for hateful speech and 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 behavior. Did you appeal it multiple times? Okay, and they shut me down every time. I did not see. Seattle. I feel safe now. In here I didn't anywhere. either. I think maybe. I was wondering I why he wasn't looking at the TikTok screen. No. Yeah. I don't Only know. on the pooper. If Only anybody's got pooper. any baseball cards laying around you don't want, I'd be more than happy to, happy to take them <laughs> off your <of> hand. <laughs> By the hey, way, talking about being on tech. the pooper, the other day, like last week, Shirley Jones, if you're watching, I actually took a picture. I was in my bathroom. I really was. But she took a picture of you in the bathroom. No, but she going to call oh. me out. Like, everybody was complimenting how good the picture looked and all that stuff. She goes, whose bathroom are you in? I'm like, what would you do that Mind for? Mind your It was my bathroom. Mind your business. Oh, was, that was my bathroom. That Mind was your business. Prove it. Just That's come visit my out. house. It was literally my <laughs> guest bathroom. <laughs> but she knew it was a bathroom because of the way it was laid out. You were in just some random person's bathroom. No. You should do that now. From every, every time you visit someone's house, take a selfie in their bathroom. I could do that because y'all know I always have to go to the bathroom. Hashtag oh. bathroom selfies. Oh, that is a great idea. Yeah. I'll give him no freaking credit. I'm doing it. Shit. Hey, Mary, I need to come in and use your bathroom. That's, a, that's pretty pretty Your master bathroom, not the guest bathroom. She won't let you back there. Just let me know, Mary. She will not let you back there. Why does it got to be the master? Shirley says, I because am his. That bucket of. It's Shirley says, I am business. his business. She, I am her oh, business. Okay, deal. Set that straight. Whatever. I'll be probably fell in the toilet. Bubba, I don't know if you're making a joke, because the last time I was, when I hurt my foot really bad, I was trying not to hit my head on the toilet, and that's when I was out for like three weeks from twisting my foot. Maybe that's why Shirley knew. So you, 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 you hurt yourself trying not to hurt yourself? I did. Well, here's the thing. I didn't want to fall and hit my head on the toilet and go, okay, I, you'd never want to die by hitting your head on the toilet. Well, you don't want to but die, you, period. Yeah. But that's, <laughs> it depends on what day of the week it is. But never on the toilet. I wouldn't is put that, that's that, you know, that's the, probably the least likely way you're going to go. Well, here's the thing. I actually have... But it's never impossible. Come on. I have friends who... Uh, Come on. ...has their parents have actually... Like oh, we're getting them all. led very bad lives, right? And survived cancer and still smoked and all kinds of stuff. And then they slip and fall and they hit their head on the toilet. Why can't I tag Zeddy's? Alvy, of all the ways that you're going to go, I doubt that's going to be is. it. How do you think I would go? Oh, with me body slamming you in a wrestling ring. That's what's going to happen. Ow. Here comes the shit talk. Here we go. I, I, it we, was going almost about to be, all you the way about, through. Look, 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 we look. went to the... Uh, we went to the Little People Wrestling No, it was show. Midget Wrestling. It's Dwarfinators. No, they had to put that on there for friggin' Political, parents. Yeah. Anyways, I, I was learning wrestling moves. That's what I was doing. So I was doing research. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's, mm-hmm. He said, it was, uh, dude, that was an uh-huh. epic. Chase Sing, got sing. in the ring, dude. It was awesome. It was so much fun, dude. Have you ever been to a, a dwarf wrestling show? Uh, it's midget wrestling. Okay. Well, I'm trying, to, it, 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 I'm trying it, to be politically correct. In Florida, before it was not politically correct to uh, say midget, they they would at the bars down there they would have uh, kicked you out. T- like, no, they would throw midgets. <laughs> <laughs> did they have midget, a midget throwing, throwing contests? Contest. Have midgets, uh, do what? They had midget throwing contests. They did. No, it was pretty cool, That's dude. Pretty cool. It was. Uh, we got front row seats. Um. Oh, and we, Schmidt. we were no one right could see there. behind you. Why would you do that? That's not fair. Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, <laughs> <laughs> right where they were coming in. The, good, the, the tickets were half price though. <laughs> there you go. Is that a short joke? Right where they were coming know. in, we were right there, so they could uh, they they were like they destroyed our whole row of chairs. Awesome. Oh, it was cool. We got some cool pictures. There was, I mean, and granted, there were all different sizes. There was a dude that was literally about our height. I mean, he was. He was Glover goes, that's not, a, that's not a midget. Don't you do it. What are you talking about? I saw it. Glover said, that's not a midget. And I said, no, it's you a regular so. Mexican. They were right. all Hispanic, by the way, except for two of them. One was partially white and the other one was black. <laughs> wow. The black dude was cool. He was strong as shit, dude. He did like. He got to the top rope and he did a handstand on the top rope and then did ten like push ups, but in a handstand. What? Oh yeah. He they, they, were, they were half push ups. Yep. His arms are as long as that. So 
Um, we do have. You're to, only half funny. You know that. I've got the paper towels over there. All right. Um, what the hell? Stop! No, Dude, if you wouldn't have said anything, I was going to plug you. Right. Dude, I was right here. We it can't was, get shit. No, it would have. No, it would have got back that way. It would have been fun. I love watching. All, all I love the watching board. those TikTok videos of them pouncing oh, yeah, them on the head yeah, on their kid's fun. head. Well, I, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm all for doing it. I'd prefer it not. I wanted to be you to not to not to expect it though. I'd prefer it not here. So I maybe go, I, 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 I should have changed right seats with him before he done got on my oh, bad side. Throw it behind here. Yeah. Okay. So it like put your eye out or something. Okay. I, I mean, that would have been excellent. <laughs> Here's the deal: is one, I didn't have nothing to do with that one either. So it's funny. The last two things that happened, I didn't have nothing to do with. But a bet is a bet. What? Well, this wasn't a bet. I mean, obviously 100%. it was. We got the whole daggum Facebook crew on no, here. No, and I never gave consent. We can get a. Do we have a trash bag or something out here? That you're, you can put you're, over. You're a trash bag. I think I got That's a tarp. That's fine. You're fixing me an egghead. <laughs> I, got a, I, got a, I think I got a drop cloth over there. <laughs> no, I need something to put on him so he doesn't. No, I don't give a shit about him. I want to cover the, the oh, gear. The equipment. Here, let me go look. Hold on. They don't splat on the TikTok videos they do. No, Y'all know everything you see on No, this ain't a TikTok video. This one may not splat at all. That one may be rotten. <laughs> uh, if it's been out here weak in the heat. It's fine. It's probably cooked. Oh, my God. If that stinks, I am throwing up on Dude, air. It, so, oh, I'm sorry. It may be a hard-boiled egg We actually point. brought it last week. What was the temperatures last week? 100. 100 plus. Oh, my God. The thing's going to stink. I mean, I'm eggs, out of here if eggs it stinks. stink already. It's going to really smell bad. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to wipe it on? Oh, it this is, smell, oh that's because y'all it said... It smell at all. That's because y'all said if you get so many views... What and so, so many, many likes. Yes. Oh, We're not going to plug him with him. Don't, you don't have to cover all that up. What the hell are we doing? We're not getting egg on the equipment. No, no, no. We're going to just drop it on <laughs> but the But you're going to get egg boom. on Mikey G's face. That's what I, I need, like, something to put over him, because we're just going to stand above him and just drop it on his head. You're just going to drop the egg on his head. Yeah, it I'm definitely not gonna, Why I, did not I bring a change of clothes? No, no, that's what I'm saying. Clean your, like, cover yourself. You cover yourself. I don't need to. I'm I hope all of y'all are covered under this table. I did come You're in late, though. You're the one that said you would do it. No, I never said I would do it. Wait, wait I know. Wait. Hey, if we I would find t- the post where it says you're in. I never said I'm in. Okay, first of all, when have we accepted us having agreed to something out. in order for us to get to yeah, do no, something? Yeah, no, we don't. Right, we time don't. out. Time the, out. The viewers do it, don't they? Time out. If you find the post that says I'm in or said I would do it, I'll do it. No, no, okay. I think we elected but, you. But, You're not going to turn it around like that. If but, not, you have to. But if you can't find it, it's on you. Literally. The post you. not finding it, it's on me. That's fine. I got that. No crying and egg smashing. You know, Lisa would know. Lisa I follows never, both of us. I never did Did I? I thought it ah. came up on last week's show while we were here in the car with uh, when I was in the car with Phoenix. I got it. Let me find the post. Yeah, that's what I got. Give us a that's second. That's what I'm trying to I do. never said Because I'm pretty sure this. he said... I didn't agree to it, but I'll do it or something. No, I, I did not. What, what do you like? What, no, 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 I, no. I honestly think that that I was. I think that was part of what was said. The wordage that was used. You're full of shit. I never said that. Uh, I think man, I think that. you really did. What color was that? Uh, on the show. Uh, I don't know, hell. Y'all have so many posts. From How me. do you like your eggs on Glover? Okay, that was close. So you got to find that one. I found that one. I'm yep. past that. Y'all now. are all crazy. So my doctor told me to tell you when you tell my crazy, you can't tell me crazy. I got a mental illness and I get treatment for that. I said them, they're crazy. Okay. Not us. No, you're saying. Yeah. Not really. She didn't say that. She just said you can't call me crazy. All right, right here. What Hold up, on. Papa? Hold on. Where's it at? Uh, How far I don't, down I don't know. It? It's on my phone. Y'all, some, y'all some dang liars. Uh, day? August 16th. Oh. Okay, so I'm almost there. Yep, you're full. Is it a color? So everyone, uh, yeah, it's just black. Facial hair. Yep, y'all crazy. Hey, please. Tracy, I, I think you did, for real. No, I think I it not. came up on last week's show. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to look. But I know the fine. post. What's fine up, where Steve? I said I'm okay he with it. He said, I'm calling in sick Monday, so that's fine. We'll come get see, you. See, see. Sorry, Michael G. Yep, see. Never gave consent. Mm, but it was we under the impression consent was given? What does that say? I'm in. Screw it. No, it did not. Uh, it does. Oh. You're full of shit. Dad's after dark. I'm in. Screw it. I didn't put that. That was one <laughs> of y'all. You just want to put that on there. One of y'all. Oh, my God, dude. I think somebody's trying to put words in my mouth. You said, this is you. Nope. 
I'm not showing up unless 50 people reply to this. Nobody replied to that. Not 50. There's like, not should, to, should no, I go no, find not, the analytics on it? No, the 50 on my on the, what I put on this. You didn't say to your po- You meant to nope, this. No, I did not. Okay, that wasn't. No, I definitely didn't get that as a take. That's a good try, though. But no, we no. know it's about the post, not about your comment. Come yeah, on, dude. Come on. Y'all are full of crap. Lisa says, I smell chicken. We both smell chicken <laughs> eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> buck, buck. Buck, 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 buck. This was not my idea, and I never No, it never is your idea with the cool stuff. With the cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always have lame ass ideas. You said, "Wait, what's going on?" Here we we're go. Said we're having scrambled eggs Monday night. And you said I didn't agree to anything. I thought you blocked Mikey G from this. Yep. See, you're yep, all, I win. Y'all think you are funny. Yep, I win. No, it's not done yet. There's nope. still there's still a bunch of posts I gotta go no, through. I win. Well, here's the thing. I, I know Lisa, Tracy. And Shirley and probably Ashley, they all misunderstood that post too. Then, so you telling your well, followers and last the wrong? He says, "Just don't do it with this hat on," because he had a Razorback. I had hat. a really, I had a nice new so, Nike Razorback oh, hat. So you so did that, say that? I, I thought I heard him say that. He That's did what say I'm telling 100%. you. One hundred percent. I couldn't be watching because I was driving, but Phoenix was playing. Well, and we were frozen, so who 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 the hell would even know? Now, Everybody heard it though. Yeah, you can hear it. That your mean voice. You saw me your do voice. It. Seriously, seriously, yeah, go ahead. Hey, my Make ma- our voices hey, sound different. My, mom, my mom in law is watching. What up, mom in law? Mom in law. I said the fans have spoken. Mikey G says. Michael Glover, Shane, get the eggs ready. Michael says, nope, I'm not showing up yep. unless 50 people reply to this. To that. And he showed uh, up. To this, this post, post. Jackass, so not the one that Not you only put. did he show up, he. I mean, I don't know, bro. I you mean, said this. I would have taken that as post. This. I'll tell you what. Here's post. what we'll do. 110 comments. You can take this egg, or I can go get three out of the fridge. Oh. And you can take three eggs. I'm scared of that egg. It's been out here in 100-degree weather all week. What, you know what? It's if fine. it's a fresh chicken egg, they links to outside anyway. Uh, that's, it's once you yeah, wash that, it. That's fresh. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. One egg or three? It looks like a dinosaur. All right, everybody, tag tag your friends. Hey. Let's get it up to thirty hey, people. Hey, hey, we're, hey, we're, hey, hey, we oh, we're not doing it unless there's at least thirty. No, you can't. Why? Because next week you'll change your mind and yep, say you exactly. didn't say that. Shh, Maybe we need up. a goose egg. What do we need? Thirty. Y'all get comments? on there. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 people. people Liz Hayer. Let's uh, tag your friends. We need 30 people. We're going to egg Glover. Hey, you get 50, we'll do it with a rotten 21 egg. 21 already. We jumped up from 18 to 21. Now we're at 22. Are you we're talking climbing, about we're live? Climbing, we're climbing. Uh, live years if we, are coming. If we could get to 50. Just I'll, live years. If we get to 50. Janice, 23. Janice, stay here. If we're we trying get to 50, you're eating this egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jan- Janice, man, that's my mama. Shell and all. Y'all get to 50, I'll let you do the three eggs. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> three. Oh, I'll, let okay, do, yeah. I'll let you do all three eggs at the same time. Like a like a oh, oh, oh look that's like that. a menage look, uh, look, for real. <laughs> you got your biggest fans, some of your biggest fans that always like have your back. I don't want to get the egg on you, so calling like you out on this. That. It'll come. I'd off. like to build. Well, I'd like to get a like a trash bag. And I don't want to get egg on the stuff. That's true. I am the stuff. Yeah. No, you're the shit. <laughs> this is the stuff. Yeah, we don't care about the egg on the shit. I'm telling you, if you could get 50 people watching here live, I'd let all three of you do one at the same time. <laughs> Jennifer just tagged 16 people. Let's go. Get them. I don't think you could do 50. There ain't no way in hell we're going to get 50 people. We're at 25. If we do, we're plugging you with three eggs. Do it. Like a damn... Like, let the uh, eggs like, sit out. <laughs> like setting up like a shooting range? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Ashley says, let the eggs sit out another week. Ugh. Dude, it still sounds pretty squishy. Kinda. <laughs> it don't have much wiggle in it. So no. you, 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 there's not much there, uh, dude. I bet it smells. Have like y'all it. ever busted a fresh chicken egg open and oh, yeah. the baby yeah, was still the yeah. baby was still oh, in it? Oh. Probably stinks even worse because it sat out here for one week in a hundred. <laughs> I bet it got a hundred. Paul, Paul said, "I just shared. Y'all want to see that liberal Glover get egged?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, liberal? "Just kidding. Laugh, laugh my rear off, joking, Mikey. <laughs> he loved you." Stupid spell check. Oh, what happened? I thought it was pretty funny. 21 people. We lost two. There ain't no way we'd ever get to 50. That ain't ever going to happen. No, if we get to 50, we, yeah. But if we get to 21, we're going to hit you with that. Everybody in here would have to tag like 15 people in this. That's fine. They're they're not going to do it. They're not. No, but we still get to hit you with that. (coughs) 
I, I want you to put on like a. We need a trash bag. I know we got one out here. Oh my gosh. Scared of a little O egg. I am. I'm, Calif- I'm allergic to eggs. <laughs> you got a California girl telling you you're scared of an egg. I don't think that you're allergic to eggs. I'm, That's your I, son. I, no, I, we're both allergic to eggs. That's bull crap. How you do pass you know? that on you? Would have you, never, have you ever gone to my That would have been your Dude, first line you of eat defense. An omelet. Huh? I watched you eat an omelet. When? Yeah, if you would have been like allergic to ago. eggs, your first line of defense when you saw that post would have been, yo, 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 wait, I can't do this. I'm allergic oh, to wait, eggs. Oh, no, no, that's fine. I'm Let's accept puss. he's allergic to eggs. And so the next time. Uh, All right, uh, I'm hitting uh, with the shot glass. Yeah, yeah. The next <laughs> he's turn, not allergic to shot glasses. Well, <laughs> you. What's up, Josh? Uh, hey, the next time the number one intern brings us milkshakes or, 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 or cake. He don't uh, get any because those have fair, very, fair. They also have eggs in so, it. So, so Jacob is allergic to eggs, but he he can milkshakes, cake, stuff like. That. It's it's. But not he doesn't good. like cake or nothing. No, he? he definitely doesn't like cake. He doesn't like cake or cup, cupcakes. That's weird. But he can ingest it cooked into things, but he can't eat eggs by themselves. I got you. I got you. So it's not he's allergic. Because if you're allergic to something... Hey, y'all get your friends on here. We need, how can uh, you we can need consume it at all? I, I don't know, but it, that's just the truth. It's always been that way. Like, what happens if he eats one? His mama, he gets sick out his stomach? So, yeah, well, he'll, he'll, he'll throw up, but he'll also get hives. And I don't believe half the shit Glover says, but Angela actually, uh, actually came through. What the hell is through. he doing over there? Building, I don't know. He's fixing to do something. Is he building a fort? He might be. But I, he might be. Angela actually said that, that Jacob is allergic to eggs, so I believe it. Glover said it. You don't believe How it. do you know? Whatever. You've never been to my doctor. That you're allergic to eggs? Yeah. You're not. I guarantee you. I'll tag your wife right now and ask her. No, you can ask. Yeah, you're not allergic She'll to eggs. Jennifer She'll says it's like me. you can't drink milk, but you can eat milk products. Okay, I got you. Angela Glover is your stupid big-headed husband. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? He's got cardboard boxes and a knife. What the? Are you really? Are you really? He's making you a... <laughs> oh, my God. Is that, a, is that a cardboard poncho? <laughs> yes! That's so awesome! This is so weird. Ow! Ow! You had to is, make the hole bigger. Is his head too big? Is his head... Uh, <laughs> Ow. Put your big boy britches on, Mikey G. If you just California push it hard. Look, it Dude, it's that's a, perfect. That's, it's a that's, that's awesome. Poncho. Can I at least put the headphones back on? Uh, I wouldn't get egg on them. <laughs> <laughs> now look. <laughs> that felt so good. <laughs> So, Mikey G, Mikey G, you just got egg on your head. How does it feel? Excellent. Egg excellent? Excellent. I cannot see it's in my eyes. <laughs> oh, no, his eyes are going to be allergic. Uh, where are the paper towels? This. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, he egged the shit. No, I know how Jenna Jameson feels. <laughs> <laughs> You did. He didn't give us a warning at all. Uh-huh. I even asked your wife to make sure you weren't allergic to eggs. It's all over my damn phone. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Your phone's waterproof. You got a damn. Oh, oh my god, dude. He. Look at his phone. That's a that's uh, a weak old hundred degree egg. Oh, it smells so bad. Does it? Does it? Oh, it smells. Well, awful. wipe it off your head, dang uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. It, 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 it got on me. That wasn't part of the arrangement. Oh Dude, God, it was like... He smashed it so damn get it. hard. What's up? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it wasn't That's what she said. All. Sorry. Is it all over the headphones, too? Oh, I'm sure it's it, Look, Look, guys, hang on. Let me get a picture. Oh, well, look at my phone. Get a picture of my phone. I'm going he to did. It looks like a scrambled egg on my damn phone. <laughs> what hey, the hell? Look, at least you don't have to wear it all the way home. <laughs> Because we got a bottle of water we'll pour over your head and wash it off. I'm so glad I had a poncho. It's a boxo. It's a boxo. That was hell of a that, idea. That, 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 was awesome. pretty, that was pretty good, though. Oh, that, that was, was, like, that was right, awesome. We're going we're gonna to do it in a few minutes, and then bam, bam, dude. <laughs> my this, head hurts. He smashed the shit. 
his phone is like sticking. Read. You guys can't see, but his phone is like sticking to the table. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to hose him off before he comes home. <laughs> she said we have to hose you off before you come home. Oh, oh my water. gosh. Oh, that was good. Yeah, right huh. mm. Dumped the water on his head. Mm. Oh. I, I'm scooting up out of the way over here. Like, oh, my God. The part's closed. The little latch on the bottom. This Don't was, pour it on this his was phone. greatness. This, it's a this was greatness. Now Glover gonna drive Angela insane all night. <laughs> it's in my freaking beard. <laughs> yes, we have to run back to the video and watch the watch the smash. Oh yeah, in, clip it. I um, oh my gosh. What did uh, I do? Uh, oh, Lord. Lord. He was dragging everything over. I mean, guys, y- y- y'all don't know, but like it splashed on my arm, All right, the side of my face. You like can take he, the box off he, of it now. Hold he, on. He, I'm zooming in. Hold on. All right. Now I'm zoomed in. Okay. This is ridiculous. But you're not is showing your face. Is it still on my head? Yes. It's all over this side, dude. Wipe this side of the head. You come wipe it. I can't read. I'm not <laughs> wiping your of and course, you. Ashley. I'm in a oh, box. your box is I'm in a box. messed up. <laughs> you just put more on my head. The, head. <laughs> the hell are we doing? Look at my flaps. If you pull that off, He's pull that chicken. off your head. He's a chicken. Bagog. <laughs> 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 now we know what a sound a chicken makes when he lays an egg on his head. Shane, this, this box of Pull well, the box pretty, off of him so he. This box. Bo- box the wings. Show? The wings, box though. Show. Box show was actually. Dude, we're going to start selling box shows if y'all want one. Yeah. We're going to autograph They're $42 a piece. It's all in my beard. <laughs> That's fine. Your beard is good. Sir, the beard. Like, like, but you keep rubbing it into your beard. Dude. Like, he, like, pulled his beard more out and rubbing it into it. Pull the box show off of him. Throw feathers on <laughs> If y'all want to buy that. Ow! If y'all want to. Oh my god, tuck your ear in, dude. Can't get it out. If y'all wanna buy that box show with egg on it <laughs> that Glover's big old head was in. Alright, now wipe it off of your head. Alright. Y'all to see y'all can't see his dude, beard is he, like close look how up. Red it is where he hit him in the head. He hit me. Look, so Alvin. Look damn hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he like now. Na- like not wow. so. You know when you said the other day you were gonna dot my head? You yeah. Tried to, you tried to put that <laughs> okay, egg okay. through his head. And now 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 look, here's what I gotta say, since he brought it up. Like, if that's what an egg does to his head, I can't get in a fight and I can't box yeah, this can, guy. Yeah, I can't box me. this guy. I can't, I can't I can't box you, dude. What do you, mean, what do you mean you'll hurt me? If an egg else, would do that. I, if, I can withstand an egg, I can withstand your damn. You, you, there you, you go. You're, you're barely talking. You're like stumbling across your words. We well, might need to call Pafford out here. I got a good cousin. <laughs> <They> gotta, <laughs> I hope that one cracked everybody up. Okay, dude. <laughs> I wasn't thinking it was going to happen. I didn't know that was about to happen. Did you not? Well, I mean, I, I, oh, I, I had knew, a sense. I, I, I knew Outlaw was up to something. You, you get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I knew he was up to something. going to be so... St- Brandon, I hope your beard products will get this crap out. Now, here's the thing. In actuality, raw egg is actually good for hair. Bubba said Humpty Dumpty Glover. <laughs> 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 I can fly. I can fly. You finally become a beautiful butterfly. Papa said it's Shane's turn. No, Glover's the only one that agreed to it. Oh, dude. I'm pretty sure. It's he all did. down his shirt. Dude, I just can't believe how he hit him so hard with it. Look at oh, it. Yeah. Out. He cracked the <laughs> shit out of me. It don't take that much to crack an egg, dude. Like, <laughs> No, he tried to put it through he his head. Through my head. Look how red my head is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Damon, shit. you got to go hit rewind on this one. Cause Dude, my head hurts. Outlaw. I said that sure actually went over easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I thought it was sunny side up. <laughs> Dude, he spiked it. <laughs> <laughs> bitch off here. Oh, I thought there was a chicken in there. <laughs> oh that would have been God. even better if there would have been a damn baby chicken. I mean, you could hear out. the egg crack. He hit it so hard. You could hear it just go crack. Fucking Easter Bunny's saw, jealous dude, I saw, right I now. I saw stars. That's he, how hard it is. <laughs> <laughs> he put the box on him. Everything and then blacked all of a sudden, out was for like, a second. Boom. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, that dark. was a week old egg in 115 degree <laughs> shop for uh, yeah, when a I, week. When I, when, when I, when I get, what, what's, there you go. Hey, Tim Better says he's better. just glad the, the, the signal didn't get scrambled. Woo! Oh, shit. Shane is doing. 
clean up where everybody else is just sitting. Well, absolutely, Miss <laughs> well, Nancy. I, I I he's to. the one that did the egg, so we're not going to help him clean up. Who is it? That was Nancy. Miss Nancy. This was Nancy. Yeah, Mama Nancy. It was my fault. Hey, yeah, was, at least it says it was that his fault, so he can clean egg up. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I got to pull the shot. So. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got. Not everybody, but everybody. There's a reason I have a waterproof. Case. That shit's hot, dude. Dude, it's on the back. Y'all should be ashamed. Y'all just poach so Mikey good, G. <laughs> What? <laughs> Tim says y'all should be ashamed. Y'all just poach Mikey G. <laughs> Dude, the worst part was is we we covered up everything but his phone. <laughs> Dude, he is going to have to take it apart when he gets home tonight. His phone, because there's going to be egg it's, under. It's oh, like his waterproof case. I'm good. Look. His phone looks like an omelet, dude. Yep. <laughs> dude, my phone's good, dude. Yeah, that but look at greatness. it when it busted on there. That, that was great. Oh greatness. Oh. Dude, I got a I got a picture of him when it <laughs> egg all over his face. Should have had that done. I just should have think about it. I should have told somebody to record that in slow motion video. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go, Glover. <laughs> I will pat myself on the back. <laughs> That's my new oh, that's that's a good one. That's that's a good one. I will pat myself on the back. Oh, that's so good. With good, the poncho box. Good job. Hey, that was actually pretty cool, dude. <laughs> dude, I was like, I don't want, dude. I don't even have to ride home with egg all up over. No, there's no way. You well, shouldn't have sniffed down. it. Dude, he Should've literally been. took his beard off when he was like, ah, I'm like, dude, you're rubbing it in. You're rubbing so it in. I walked over there and was looking for a bag, oh and God. I looked at that box, and I was like, that would probably fit. And then you dumped everything that was in I the did. box. I did. I dumped it out. It's on the damn floor over there. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, spray all that shit out, but you need to look at that and see if you help me get rid of some of it. Dude, that was, uh, that was pretty good. Oh, a lot of it. That um, was good shit. Woo. Hey, a, I bet, I bet a, your uncle would buy those framing nailers from there's me. There's a little bit on the... You did get some on the headphones. Dude. I don't know why he thought he had to hit it so hard. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was more about... I cracked an egg in my an life. An egg was so easy. I think it was more about quick and not hard. That's what she said. And it just happened. Uh, look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, Steve, we're going to definitely... Uh, we're going to definitely play it back and uh, get the uh, slow-mo. Yeah, up. everybody needs to go hashtag replay on that one. Yeah, we're going to get that for sure. Ain't, we, no, uh, doubt. Ain't no doubt. Hey, you know what? I'll at least give you props to the punch. Dude, look, there's egg inside my glass. <laughs> shell. I'm a Dude. shell. I'm a shell of myself now, guys. Dude, it was oh like, okay, we're putting a box on him. We're going to chill, and we're going to do <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I'm like, God. The... Yeah, but my thing is. That's always been Shane's like, mentality, man. His, his head is so red right it. where you spiked him. Okay, I can't put these on. Look at those. You need water, dude. Hey, these are up for sale now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're some excellent glasses. Excellent. <laughs> Sir, can you clean off this part of the table? There's some egg coming from your phone. There you dude. Go. We're going to come in here next week. There'll be a, some muffins on the table. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm with Rod though. Did you have to hit it that hard? God, I didn't. Lead, dude. I didn't. Dude. Honestly, the, holy <laughs> shit! I, honestly, well, I was to that crack. dude looked like he was spiking a football Look, in the end zone. Right <laughs> in the second, I was confused as to which egg I was trying to crack. <laughs> oh, I guess Frank got on here, so everybody's saying hello, hey, Frank. Hey, no, you, you wait, thought? Wait, wait, well, wait. it's hi, Frank. You say hi, Frank. Oh, oh they're saying hey and hi. Okay, yeah. sorry. Hi, Frank. Whatever. It's our show. We'll do whatever we want. Hey, Frank. Hi, Frank. My head. Thank hurts. you. My head hurts. Thank you. You go. I you want to throw down now? Like, I, I know I can't take him on now because the egg, <laughs> the eggs gave him a concussion over I here. Had so. No, like I honestly don't know what got what came over me. I didn't mean to hit you that hard. Yeah, for real though. Like I know we're me? joking. How many, how many no, I think he needs ice me? for how real. How like it's turning sort of red, you, swelling over have here. You, no how many joke. times have you hit me on the show now? That's the first uh, time that was unprovoked. What? I agree with that. Well, maybe whenever I. Attacked you in the. That wasn't me though. That was All the right. wrestler. So time out. That, that was, was El Mustachio. Time out. Yeah. Time, time, time out. Time out. Time okay. Time so yeah, El Mustachio pushed me in the floor. Um, you with the the ring that D Hop got decided, because you said to, you said hit me. No, I did not. You did a hundred. Uh, no. Dude, you don't remember stuff. You said hit me. That explains why that battery's and never got not, changed in a lot. I will. I will give you this. What battery? He hit you with that. With the ring, and it didn't quite do as much as the egg did. Like, like your head is like super. I'm cracking jokes, but you might need to put ice on it. I'm right. cracking I'm jokes. Like, <laughs> I'm cracking I jokes. Like it's like, <laughs> I do feel a little bit bad Let me that I hit him so hard. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. No, no I mean, I, mean, I said a little bit. Golly, dude, I don't have a bruise. I, I, you are. I mean, like, 
I'm going to have to. You're a good sport, Glover. That's over, See? That, People that, are saying you're a good sport. That was over me. That was over medium, not over easy. No, that's yeah, hard no. boiled right there, son. Yeah. No, that. So if we would have, if the video, if, my beard stinks. If our stuff would have worked last week, you probably would have ate a, a hard boiled. No, I had one hard boiled egg and two regular ones. Oh and my another gosh! Another regular. Dude, if it had been a hard boiled egg, you probably would knocked me out. He would have if he hit you that hard. <laughs> hey, Dude. hey, this will be How hilarious. <laughs> well, How much better content would that have been? Yeah, what I'm saying. We'd have drilled you and you'd laid out. Dude. Because we'd have teabagged you and everything. (laughs) (laughs) Why why, why, why would we have? Because you were asleep. (laughs) Because you could. Yeah, I mean, duh. (laughs) Dude, it's on my fingers. Yeah, Yeah, it's on your shirt. It's Uh, on your fingernails. Sam said you hit him like he owed you money. But but out loud, I do tell you that I did check. Thank you for not getting Look, any Damon, on my shoes because I got says, up thinking, damn, if he would have got eggs on my shoes, we're gonna have a real problem in there. Damon said, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, now we can call the paramedics for him, but right. I'm just saying that's all right. Like, Damon appreciate you not he, uh, hurting he, your shoes. He definitely remembers the ring hit. <laughs> oh yeah. On that note, guys, I do think that you guys owe me some football squares. Go buy the damn football squares. Get them. Buy them in his if his y'all. Honor. Y'all buy them and put them under Mikey what, G's name. If we fill this board up before Saturday, we're going to hit Mikey G with a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be gone all weekend. So, <laughs> so, do you want to go with us this weekend? <coughs> Crickets. Going I mean, to Houston, watch baseball game. Crickets. How would I go with you? Crickets. I mean, we got room in the car. I mean, do you have a What's up, Zoe Green? What's up, Zoe? Zoe! You can get a ticket to the damn Zoe game. Green. Baseball games are like a dime a dozen. Where's Bryce at? Hey, she, her first oh, book gra- is now available on up. Amazon. Oh, I, is I, it? The, Zoe's the, is. I got to go the look. Sunday, yeah. Yeah. Zoe, put that link on there for your book. The game is Sunday? S- we're going to Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I'm going to call out Sunday. I can't. I mean, yeah. I mean, they can call you while you're there. You can be like, hey, man, I'm kind of busy. I ain't going to make so it two So is Houston playing at the game? Houston's playing the Yankees. Okay, I, I, I do need to tell you this. You know, uh, Paul and Letitia Oden, they used to do, anyway. Yeah, uh, I think. Uh, his nephew, I believe, plays for Houston. Really? Nice. Yeah. Yes. Did you see what Damien said? Uh-uh. I, I, ain't even, I haven't said, even. He said, I'll buy a handful of the, of the the squares if we can hit him with a wiffle ball bat. Deal. It's got to be. Are you in? It's, five. You got to buy five squares. Whoa, wait. That's it? For a wiffle ball bat? We got 42, though. You should go 10, at least. Uh, five, one person. Well, one person buys one, five squares. One person buys. I'll five. let Damien hit me with a bat if he buys five squares. What Damn. the hell? Fifty bucks? You want to do it? That's it. I, I think, think we should start bucks, a bidathon. Uh, the highest amount of squares purchased by one person gets to hit Mikey G with a wiffle ball bat. True. Go for it. I ain't scared. Actually, let's put an egg on top of Dude, his head you know and see bad. if they can hit the egg off of his head with a wiffle Dude, ball bat. You know how bad that would hurt to get hit with a wiffle ball bat. That hey, would, ain't no worse than an antenna. Would hurt, yeah. It's going to sting. That would hurt. It's no worse yeah, than a car antenna. Mm. I Depends can introduce you to a few people that's felt that from bo- before. Oh, Zoe dropped that link. Good job, hey, there's Zoe. There's a link. Y'all go, uh, y'all go get it and buy her book up. Behind the curtain with Tourette's. We need to have her own one. Day. Yeah, be, we could do yeah, that. We'll, we'll have to, we'll now, have yeah, to now, here's the thing. Uh, every, <laughs> every June, it's Tourette Awareness. And so, for the past two years, I've been scheduling to have an interview with her. But something happens to me mentally every year during that month. So, I'm like out of it and we run out of time. So, but yeah. Yeah, y'all go, y'all go get her book. What, what? How old are you now, Zoe? She's in, she's in ninth grade. I know this. My Zoe is uh, seven. So I know I've I've known Zoe and and her brother and her mom and her dad and her aunt. I've known all of them for quite some time. Um, good people. She yeah, said she'd be people. honored to be on. Not Are you talking about my um, show or your show? No, definitely ours. Okay. It's no funny cares, nobody it, cares. At one point, and they <laughs> they still might think so, but for 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 a long time they would uh, they would always bring up the fact they say that I I saved her mother's life. She'll be fifteen in two weeks. Zoe's mom. Yeah. So Audrey was unresponsive we had a call one night this is always mom yeah um we got a call one night of an unresponsive female i believe she was in the kitchen floor maybe she's in the living room i can't remember um but i got over there and i had a partner with me and we're doing our medical checks on her and uh 
Nobody can like medical history, nothing. Like nothing. There was no reason for her to be unresponsive in the state that she was in. And the medics were not they were leaning towards like, we're just gonna load her up and take her. And I'm like, No, I don't think that that's the right thing to do. We need to figure out what's going on. And I kept saying something about check her blood sugar. And they're like, that's no, there's no reason to check her blood sugar. She's not a diagnosed diabetic. There's no medical history, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm telling you right now, from my experience on the fire trucks and the amount of time that I've been doing it, there's only two kind of people that are acting like she is right this moment. One's a drunk, one's a diabetic. Mm. She ain't drunk. Let's check her blood sugar. And after 20 minutes of back and forth in an ambulance in the front yard, they finally decided to check her blood sugar. And guess what? Popped her a little bit of D50, and she woke right up. Imagine that. Had that not happened, she could have very well ended up on the other side. Absolutely. Mm. It was crazy, though. It was just one of my gut feelings. Like, you know what? I am not a doctor. I'm feeling your gut. (laughs) (laughs) I do have some medical knowledge. You know, the street knowledge is what I call it. Um and it was just it was my gut saying, Dude, hey, that, that didn't look right it. when I just... It was <laughs> yeah, zoomed in on us. It did not look like you were touching his belly. Yeah, that was not his belly. That was his, great, though. His, his, I was, his, I was his, like, what is he touching? Whatever it was, it not, was in the kitchen. That's what I thought. His gut's not by, down by his knees there, Rod. Aaron Yarbrough said rude. I don't know what that means. Glover's new nickname is Eggs Benedict. I don't know what Eggs Benedict. Benedict Glover. Benedict Glover. I like it. I dig it. Well, I don't know what I'm rude about. but Zoe, we'll definitely have to get you to come on and talk about your book. I'm 100% down. It's a good idea, Yeah, yeah, let's get her on yeah that'd be we good. just need to get her before Alba does That's yeah you better because it because you know that's what we do I got we, dibs, we, we break all the news stories here I, actually yeah, I, yeah. I, we're one, number one I, news station in in this and i'll be okay at that I, I, i'll oh, be okay hey, no zoe i was just talking about that just because it just made me think about it definitely i don't say i saved her i just did my part what, and what, sure Kim, that, she's what up, man, lady? what's that, up lady? Uh, Everything went the way it should have went. You, so. said, you said Kim? Kim, a cheesy man. So our number we one. We love intern. you, Mama Cheesy. Number one intern. And number here's something I'm going to say, too. And it just, Kim jumped on here and it just made me think about something. Yes, I, I know, read yours. Lisa. I know Alvy was uh, live earlier talking about walking out of the dark. Is that uh, right? Out of the darkness. Out of the darkness. It's so a- out of the darkness is. So I didn't get, to, I'm not going to lie to you, I was busy as hell. I didn't get to go look. I did l- listen to a brief moment of it and looked at some comments. It's got something to do with suicide awareness? It, or? it does. So uh, September is National Suicide Awareness Month and Prevention Month. And uh, October, every October, they have a Out of the Darkness Walk for Suicide uh, Prevention. Walk this year is October 29th. I was going to talk to you guys about it afterwards. Uh, I have put a team together called Making It Happen. So we're raising money and... Uh, Things like that, and we'll go down there and walk. Uh, but it's kind of like a multi-week thing. So, of course, next month uh, on the main page, uh, I'll share a lot of suicide statistics, uh, you know, Suicide Prevention Month. And then October, we roll into the actual Out of the Darkness walk. Uh, it's a very sombering uh, experience if y'all never been. I'd really like for y'all to be part of that. Uh, and then November, uh, a local resident who lost her son to suicide... Uh, and I believe she's a survivor at this point now. She wants to get a float in the East End Parade for people to honor their loved ones who's passed from suicide. Hold now, on, mm, hold on, yeah, just a second. Let me let me interrupt you for just a moment. No, who's Aaron Yarbrough? Don't do it. Don't How do it. Shows Don't your do good it. Show. Here's what I'm gonna say real quick. It's Number just, one, you said something about putting God in our show. If you'll go back and read. Um, none of us here are non-believers, but we choose not to talk about God, and we choose not to talk about politics because those are two very controversial subjects so there's that one number two don't come on here with your hateful comments because we're all about positivity and we're about doing and saying the right things to promote positivity and if you're going to come on here and go against that do me a favor and uh find you a different kick rocks bro find a different radio show yeah i'll leave that out there say what you choose there'll be another response there will not be another response coming your way so have fun with that one um Anyway, uh, anyways, what you're talking about there, Alvy, does it, it's it's really hit home. Uh, we're not going to talk about personal stuff, but it's really hit home, especially in the last couple of weeks for several of us. And um, oh, that weekend, you were oh, talking, for sure. Like, Thanks, Steve. Because um, like, so, unfortunately, she couldn't yeah. get a hold of me that day because right. she wanted me to actually call and let you know. So here's what. Uh, uh, oh to, yeah, had, yeah, yeah. So I had family last um, week too. Yeah. That, in the last week. Uh, by the way, hang on. Aaron, I appreciate you supporting me, but these are my brothers. 
right here. I need you to we're, understand. We're punching jokes at him. We're not. Yeah, we're not being yeah. serious. Yeah, like, I'm like, like, hey, our show's better like than yours. I, he does I, it to us. I enjoy. I enjoy coming on here on Monday nights. I appreciate the compliments, and I appreciate you guys always wanting to take off. Remember, this is part of me too. A, a big part of me. Uh, you guys are excellent community partners. Besides the fun we have, I can tell y'all all kinds of stuff. Damon, yeah, oh, yeah, Damon wants to get a part and of it. Something Alvin. else. Me and Alvy's known each other since childhood, so uh, absolutely, it's all to yeah. the good. But anyway, that's yeah. enough uh, spotlight on that. But what you were talking about about coming out of the darkness. So you know, you was talking about Brian, um, and then I just found out probably twenty minutes before the show started that a high school friend of mine who I umpired baseball with, I played baseball with my whole life. Um, he took his life early this morning. I'm so that, um, yeah. that's actually a, a family member of, of Kim, and a lot of people knew him. But what I think the one that gets me the most a little bit was Brian because Brian was a vet, and Brian also was a responder for We Are the 22 for probably two or three years. It, it, and, you know, here, here, here's the thing, Shane. It's like, sorry, Mikey G., but it's like, we don't want to get too personal. Uh, as a suicide survivor, I'm going to tell you, we got to erase that stigma. If you really want to keep us alive, because like your friend, he probably seemed jubilant and happy. The week I'd planned mine, I was extremely jubilant and happy because I had a closing date. I had an end date. It was going to happen. So therefore, what's left is suicide survivor uh, remorse because it's like, what do we do? Then no one wants to talk about it. And actually, but it needs we, to be talked about. Right. That's what's called out of the dark. Even if it makes us uncomfortable. You get what I'm saying? No, and like I'm not opposed uh, to talking about it. I'm just saying, I, I had uh, my cousin last week, and yeah. same thing, and I... Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, I, mean, I don't know if their family wants me to talk about it, and that's what it, I was it, 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 And that's the thing. Like, like I'm going to use you for an example, uh, because I'm sure there's people in my family that doesn't appreciate when I talk about my uncle killing himself, or my cousin, or my other cousin. Uh Thanks, uh, so we, uh, or about my own suicide attempt. We got a listener in here too that was uh, their family member. Sorry, uh, I would. Oh no, you're fine. I'm way below on the comments, but we got to figure a way to make it okay to talk about it because that actually no, helps. I, it it, it helps a, people. Uh, go ahead. Go I was going to say it's an uncomfortable death in general is not something that people just genuinely like to talk about. And if I could just had to sit back and try to understand it from every angle you could look at it and say man they were a coward for doing so but then you could look at it and go maybe they didn't have nobody in their life that they trusted to talk to to help them through this situation like there's uh, you, you you said a, two key words there one it's a coward's way out I get it. People say that. That is not what you say to someone no you that, don't that, but people do right. people, people do it's pretty common uh and you're like, maybe someone could have helped them. It's the stigma around it. Like, this cowardice, uh, you know, you're going to go to hell. Uh, you, you know, think about your kids. Think about your family. That's all coming from people that's never been there. You, right. you, you, you right. get what I'm saying? I, right. I've said on this show before, like I told my parents, I said, no, it's not a coward. This would just let me yeah, uh, I, 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 said, I said, it's not being a coward. I said, stick a nine millimeter to you and pull the trigger. And it's by the grace of God that you live. There's nothing coward about that. Uh, uh, so, but there's no good way to do it because it's even uncomfortable for me to talk about it because uh, I know the impact it's made on my family. Like my media family don't talk to me about suicide. Ain't no way in the world. But, you know, my brothers, all three come in and found me. Yeah, I think it would be more of let's not talk about suicide. Let's talk about how to help someone how to help. not go down that road. The, the way to do that, though, is, and I'm speaking from personal experience and how I help people, <laughs> is face it hit a hit on. If someone don't want to make it, first of all, we already heard, if we've been going through it a lot, we've already heard just about everything you're going to tell us. Don't do that. Think about your kid. We, we already thought about all that. Like, like time you get to that point, mm -hmm. you have justified everything. You want to look for ways... Uh, now, as a suicide survivor, I can usually relate more to people. And you want to tell them, ah, all right, Mikey G, let's talk about this. It's like, like, cause, so you're going to do this tonight. Yep. What's your reasons tonight? No, I, I, I'm, st I'm not telling them not to. After a while, you start communicating with them. And then you want to remind them. 
that you care about them and you actually want to listen. You're not criticizing them. You understand what they're thinking about doing. Uh, and one thing I like to remind people after you engage me in conversation with an hour, I look at you and I go, smokestack, dude, you really can't do it now. Right. I said, because think about how that's going to impact me. I, ca- I, ca- I can't help you with how you think everybody else feels, but now you know someone cares. Yeah, and that's definitely something we're going to dive into next month. We, like you said, September is Suicide Awareness Month, and that's you're going to see a lot of that on our show, on our pages. We're definitely going to be sharing. I know Alvy will be sharing like crazy. I mean, like, crazy, I, know, like yeah. I said, three people in the past week, two of them I personally knew, one oh. is family of a friend. So it's like I think about – I tell Mary, my wife, this all the time because sometimes she'll poke at me and 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 bring something up, and and I don't I don't understand because <laughs> I probably could have said something. Like I'm not an anxious subject. person. I'm not an anxious person. I don't get stressed out. I the moment we walk away from this circle, it's behind me. No matter what this circle is, if it's a bad argument, if it's if it's the best thing ever. I just have a and and I and I almost say I, I believe that maybe it's from riding on the fire trucks as long as I rode on the I fire was, trucks. I was about to ask you is because I, I honestly think trucks, because yeah. I just found a whole new way to live life and to look at things and just to one be grateful for breathing air every single day, but two just to when it's my time to go, no matter what and how that time is, there's absolutely not a damn thing I can do about it. So I definitely don't want to. Especially if you piss Mary off. No, dude. She loves me. Um, you, you come home to a home-cooked meal for Mary, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trouble. What's up, Amanda? But Ain't no doubt just, about that. I personally cannot understand that situation. I see people that are anxious and pacing, and I can look at them and go, golly, I wonder what their brain is going through right now. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't – I cannot – Say I understand. I can I can say that being on the fire truck, I've seen a lot of shit. Absolutely. I've seen a lot of shit. And there's a lot of stuff there that made me sit back and wonder. And, and it was like, did this person ask for help? Did people ignore this? Because there was a ton of cries for help that I went to. Absolutely. Scratches, cuts. Um, I tried to OD, but I only took two pills kind of thing. You know, it's like there's a lot of cries for help out there. So mm-hmm. was there a signal sent that no one noticed? Was there a word that was spoken that someone ignored? Um, and, and that's where people eat their self. Right. Up. And I've said it once. I'll say it again. At the end of the day, there's only one person when someone commits suicide that has the final decision. Now, people can push them. In that direction, by a their back ass uh, their ass backward comments like "Go ahead and do it," or "You're just doing this." You're just saying that for attention. Those are the people that need more attention. Those people need more attention than the person who's asking for attention. Correct, because if if they're really if someone's threatening to die uh, for attention, let's give them attention. You you get what I'm saying? If that's if that was their own purpose, okay, fine. Let's give them attention. Obviously, they're feeling left out. They're filled out alone, so let's figure a healthy way. And who cares if their intentions were not to actually take their lives? They just may need some damn attention. But here's the thing, though. What happens is, because uh, I suffer from suicide ideation, we've discussed this before, that's the thoughts of death uh, every day. If they play that card, we'll, we'll say that, and enough people tell them to go ahead, go ahead, eventually it sinks in. They will. And eventually, Nobody cares. And eventually... They'll go. Nobody cares, and they actually have 100 different examples how no yeah, one cared. Guess, yeah. Well, I'm sure. I don't want to dig too deep on this because I know Alvy's probably going to jump on this tonight on his live. Right? No, I definitely he, will. He will now. Um, uh, sure. And yeah. like, you know, like we talked about, all of next month is awareness for that. So I'd like to get an expert on the show. So if anybody knows, what kind of expert are you looking? That's for? what. That's what I'm. I'm curious. Well, who would I be? Mean, who would be a good person to have on about this topic? It, well, what do you want to learn? Do you want to see it? Do, because it's multi-channel, you, you you got you got the actual people that are thinking about it. You got suicide survivors, survivors who've tried it, and you got loved ones that were left behind with no note. You got loved ones that were left behind with very specific. I'd like to talk. Going. I'd like to talk some to uh, like we had. Uh, we are the twenty-two on here for a while, and I'd like I wouldn't mind getting them back on here. 
Yeah, uh, see, and they look at it. I, I almost and and this is this is don't take this the wrong way because I don't know that this this is just my brain. I think the we are the twenty two is a different level. And 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 I may be wrong by categorizing it that way yep. because I look at the veterans in a different light as to what they have physically seen and endured as veterans on the front lines and Okay. And not all of them. So let went me that route. So let me challenge that train of thought. <laughs> uh, you also don't know what kind of lifestyle. Well, that, that's that, what I'm that, saying. That, I don't know that, if it's fair for me to label that I, or I put that on that level. I, I you know would understand. I, mean? I would understand why you would. You, you get what I'm saying. But then we can also look at the root cause of all this. Is, I mean, health. Uh, we look is at our, mental health. You get what I'm saying. Us. So when it comes to the, we are the 22. Uh, what they're doing this is, is, this, is this, great, this goes for police, firefighters, soldiers. Yeah, heroes behind the lines, same yeah, thing. Uh, yeah. All of them. We need to wake up and realize we don't provide enough mental health services and making it okay I, to, to get – it's available. I you, will you get, say you, this. You get what I'm saying? It's There's available. always a chaplain available 24-7. I, Wait, okay. let me rephrase that. There's supposed to always be – I, I get that, and what I guess my challenge is is that okay, nothing we've did the past hundred years has worked. We right. got chaplains, we got mental health counseling set in place. Uh, if your brother need to go talk to somebody Here, at Slane County, he would know, have that opportunity. You, you get what I'm saying? But it's like, how do you really make them? Do you know what the them? answer is to that? I will give you the because I 100 percent lived that life for 17 years riding a fire truck. You do you know why? The help has not been readily available because we as first responders and men and police officers and all the above are too damn proud and too egotistical it's to not, say, hey, I need some freaking help. It's not. I don't even know if I would call it pride, but there's a shame and there's a stigma to it. No, it's, and so you don't want you don't want to. We are it. supposed to be tough. Yep, absolutely. We're supposed to be the ones who are the rock when everybody else is in pain. You know what I'm saying? We deal as first responders. We catch them before the doctors do. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. What do you think the doctors deal with? Nobody ever talks about doctors and nurses. Yep. They're the ones trying to patch them together. We're just trying to hold them together until they get there. You know? Yep. Well, before we dive too far into that, I'd like to devote an entire show. I know we've done done that before, but that was uh, uh, literally about a year ago now. I think it'd be a good time. You know, some, we'll devote a show here in September to mental health awareness and True, to suicide prevention, and we'll get some people in here to talk about it. So, uh, but before we dive too far into that tonight, we, we could sit here and talk for another hour. Yeah, no, I could for sure, a hundred percent. And I'd love to have this conversation, but I got to get home at some point and wash all this egg out of my beard. <laughs> I was like, what I'm, you getting, I'm pretty looks <laughs> excellent. I'm pretty sticky right now. Well. He's right. <laughs> Y'all go check out um, Just Alvy News uh, later hang, on. Hang on one more thing. Just a, uh, this Thursday night down at the Clinton Library. And, of course, the, they'll make their way over to the Big bridge. Uh, it's uh, overdose fourth annual uh, light up the bridge for overdose and fentanyl uh, okay. prevention. This Thursday at uh, – Vince really starts at like 1, but I think the walk's like at 645. Uh, we'll be out there live. I won't be out there live all day, but they do. They light the bridge up purple. <laughs> He's uh, over easy. You can uh, be out there at night so when they here, light it up. Here's yeah, what yeah. I'll say. One more thing. Just FYI. If anybody out here is listening, period, and there's ever a thought in your head, it, it, whatever it may be, I don't care. If you need an ear. Right there. That camera right there. I'm just looking. I know. Just right there. That's. If you need an ear, if you're having thoughts, one of us may not be able to help you, but I promise you we can we can listen to you. Um, and we also can find you yep. the help that you may need. And it can be it can be private, it can be public. It's whatever you want. But just know that I can tell you right now that there's four gentlemen right here that will not turn away a phone call or a message if you shot us something and said, Hey, I'm not feeling good about life right now. I need some help. 100. I promise you right now, I'll stop everything I'm doing. I, <clears throat> dude, I would have given anything for my, my cousin would have reached So out. That would have been amazing. Just, was, just uh, know, you know, we, we're all about fun and having games and being silly and being stupid. But um, 
we cannot do everything that we do without the good people on the other side of that camera and, and, and social media listening and supporting us and sharing our lives and all that and the other. It ain't got nothing to do with it. If you see me out in public, hey, bro, I need some help. I might look at you funny, but if I see you're serious, I'm going to help you out. Yeah. And I've always said that about Shane, too. Shane may be – he's an asshole, but he's our asshole, and he is literally one of the most kind and giving he's people. He's not my asshole. I checked it earlier. <laughs> That's a funny thing. Stinks like an egg. Dude, if you literally needed the shoes that he was wearing, he would give it to He'd you. He would give it to you. 100%. The, uh, by the way, 988. Albie would not because his are expensive. I have actually – Given away several he pairs actually, of shoes. He's said that uh, many uh, times before. 988 from any phone? 988. You can text or call from any phone. That'll connect you to the National Suicide uh, Helpline. There you go. 988. Oh, Y'all get I like it. it. All like right. It. We got to roll. Y'all go buy football squares. Please and thank you. Football squares. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's, get that board, let's get that board filled up before Saturday. Uh, and we'll bust another egg on Michael's head. Yeah, why the hell not? Hey, we won't do it Saturday, but whatever. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Arkansas is one of the worst states on mental health. You're 100% right. Um there's a firefighter by the name of Matthew Stallings who we saw this weekend um, who led the march for firefighters and and that whole first responder thing. So You think we can get him um, on the show? Huh? You think you can get him on the show? Possibly. I'll hit him Henry up. Henry Fu- Fuya. Yeah, I fool, you. I fool you too. I love you too. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, come on the Sher- show. Sheridan won 30 to 18, Zoe. Thanks Peace, for asking. Love hey, and Bryant eggs. won like Thirty-eight to six or something. They yeah. won every year. We love you. What are we talking about? Going five years in a Peace row. Out. Going for number six. Get it, get it, get it. All right, guys. Peace, love, and eggs. Always make dad decisions. Bye, Sigel. Later. Hey. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Mom's in the morning. They pocket is kind of boring. Verb and Velcro, new balances. Pat it on my nose. Mickey G, funny packs, that's on me. Blue jean shorts. Yeah, that kind of short. Dad's after dark. Dad's after dark. Dad's after dark.